up, boys? Welcome to Gotcha Podcast number 11. Today, we're doing a very special episode with a lot of very underrated Gotcha content critters that I wanted to bring on today because it's going to be a lot of fun. This was going to be the Honkai Star Row voice actors episode, but... Unfortunately, I don't think they're allowed to talk to me anymore, so it's not that episode. Uh, but it'll happen surely, and if it doesn't happen for Hoyoverse ever again, it will happen for Kuro Games, which will be great, and it will happen for Azure Pamilia as well, because, uh, you know, I don't think I'm that bad of a guy, me personally. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Feel free to strap on in. This will be a long episode, or it won't, who knows, and we're going to be talking about all sorts of shit. But I'm sure my editor will timestamp what it is that we're talking about. So, we're going to start off with my favorite my favorite son you know my other one went to singapore and he's or he oh, went to china right. and he's gone forever but my other kid box too <laughs> yo what up man what's up man yo so <laughs> now i'm gonna man, go and let uh, youtube know you were 30 minutes late my bad dude I, I i gave a valid reason man like i i set the alarms i'm just bad at reading so i don't know yeah, you know what his valid games. reason was <laughs> i'm clouded now go f yourself i'm here be happy that's what he said. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm missing for me, man. All right, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I'm second son. Like he's okay. in Shanghai. I got to take his, his place. Is that where he's yeah. at, Shanghai? Yeah, he's at Shanghai right now. And where he's, are uh, you at? What country like, are you at? Uh, bro, oh, you don't have I, to say. No, is no, this... I don't know. I don't know what a country is, man. Like I'm, gen I'm so genuine. Is it? Is it like? Is it United States? Is it like? Uh, is it Cali? Which one is it, man? Like, okay, Cali, you, uh, United States. You're, Don't you're look trolling. at me like, bro. I'm not. I'm genuinely not. Dude. There's a reason why I'm a fucking streamer, man. It's like I don't know YouTuber knowledge. Okay, so yeah, like, North America is a uh -huh. continent. California is a state. The United States is a country. Okay, I'm I'm gonna like know, and I'm gonna like forget later because that's that's how it always works. But okay, so you're you're in Hell. the U.S. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Welcome come over. States are like provinces. Uh, like where are you again? You're like in Texas, Austin, Texas. Holy shit! Texas is its own country, by the way. Yeah, man, That's come on. Far, man. We'll go to the gym. We'll yeah, I heard. Uh, I, like I heard it. Pokey is Pokey is um bouncing to uh, Austin after yeah. PushCon, right? Pokey's coming in September, and then Brax is coming in a little bit. God damn. Um, and then there's uh, a meeting up with Gotcha Smack later this month, and then there's another guy who's coming to the states, but for some reason doesn't want me to say. Which really pisses me off because then I think that means that he's not gonna let me make any content out of it. So why the f are we even hanging out? But <laughs> whatever, <laughs> man. Maybe no as point. friends. Is it Atsu? Yeah. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was just my bad, bro. Yeah. I love that guy. I wish we could hang out. Uh, regardless, really? you want to you want to tell uh, you want to tell chat what you're about. I'm, I'm sure everybody <laughs> already knows you because you are the box too. But you want to tell chat anything about you or what? <laughs> no, nah, same thing as before, bro. Hey, man. Uh, damn, yeah, know, bro. bro. He's chilling. Yes, sir, like man. That. Damn. I'm chilling, bro. I have a okay, question for you, Box. Uh huh. Do you still play Love and Deep Space? No. <laughs> Wait. No, I don't. What? No, it was it was actually it was a fun stream, man. Thank you for recommending it, but like, bro, it's so bad on emulator, bro. It's it's, it's like it's hella buggy, and well, I mean, yeah, I, I just can't, man. I would actually play it on my own if I um if I had the time, but I'm I'm like mad busy right now. Doing what? Dude, get, off my... no, get, get off my back. Get off my back. God damn, dude. Can I have some cool. privacy? Cool. Okay, move move, move on to Emmy, dude. Move on to Emmy, dude. I, no, I got no, no, no. Things, We're going man. down. We're going downwards. We're going downwards. Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right yo. Uh, next up, we have a man who... <sighs> There's so many videos where I kept on saying, who the f*** is this guy? <laughs> I kept on seeing this dude in every single rogue killer video. And eventually, I was like, oh, I, I didn't figure out who the fuck this guy is. Uh, next, we have Kush. Do I call you Kush or Kush Ball? Whatever you want. Either works. And is, that, is that in reference to marijuana? Um, I mean, it, it's a name that I've had for the majority of my life. It does happen to have that meaning as well, but that's not exactly why I chose it myself. Yeah, so does anybody ever tell you who you sound like? Uh, no, go. Go for it. Let's see. You, you, you remind me of, uh, you know, Gilbert Gottfried? <laughs> <laughs> really? No, I've never got that. I never got that. That's a loud guy, though. Yeah, I am loud. It's a loud <laughs> bro. Yeah. So tell uh, tell my chat who you are, what you're about, because uh, you know, I, I, uh, I don't know how long you've been doing this for. I would like to know who you are as well. I know you very little, but I would like to know more. Cool. My name's Kush Kush Ball, um, streamer man, YouTuber. But I am new to this. I started right around when uh, HSR came out, like 
I, I was streaming for like literally a month before HSR came out. And then I actually saw Asmin and you playing like early days, probably day one or day two. Yeah. And I had never played a gotcha game. Mm. And I got into HSR, tried it out, messed everything up, spent all my jade on the standard banner because <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. And then here we are almost a year later and I'm on the gotcha cast. So I am a new streamer. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be exploring this whole content creation journey. But yeah, I am a newbie, but I'm having a great time. Well, and how, I love how, the game. Can I ask how old you are? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm 33. Okay, cool. How, how has it been being a gotcha content creator? I mean, it's it's been an experience. I was yeah. kind of prepared for it be, because before this, um, just to give you a little background, like I, I was a a DJ music producer. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of used to like being on stage or, or you could say like having eyes on me, but it's, it's a different thing, you know, uh, doing that. You're like out in the public actually yeah. doing this. I'm in my room, but you're still in the public. Yeah. So it's similar, but, but I'm enjoying the experience. I love, I love creating content. Uh, I love looking back at like the stream and, and the stuff you get for the YouTube from it and having something permanent that like you can, always go back and look at it's just it's a really cool thing i'm What's enjoying the name? journey that's what your i'll name say dj kushball or no uh my dj name was slimes s-l-i-m-e-z -E oh, so good nice yeah, yeah I, I love slimes. they're always good people i love slimes that's yeah. dope man. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> cool. but yeah that, that's a little bit about me if you got any more specific questions happy to answer them. yeah a couple more coming on later uh do a little more deep dive are, are you free to play or are you paid to win uh, I, I am not free to play. I just, oh my God, I just did my taxes and added up all the credit card charges. And it was a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be honest. Fair, fair, fair. I shouldn't be honest, but I will be. Okay. I'm not free to play. All right, we got to talk more about that later. All right, next up, we have one of my favorite VTubers. We have Ruby. Yippee! Hi, everyone. Yippee. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell, tell my um, chat about uh, who you are, what you do. Oh, uh, I'm a VTuber. I've been a VTuber and streaming for three years. You guys probably see me through YouTube reacts, streaming. Uh, I played Genshin before. And now all I do is look at culture art with my chat. I read... Hentai? <laughs> I read Yuri. <laughs> I, I read manga, you know, all that good stuff. And I share and talk about it with my chat a lot. So, what are your yeah. top three manga? My top three? Yeah. Uh, real life, it's first. That's, that's, that's the name of a manga. Oh, uh, I, it's a, uh, like, it could be Webtoon or Manhua, one of those. It's real okay. life. I read okay. it, yeah. All right. Um, the most recent one is the Yuri one. It's called My Girlfriend Is Not Here Today. Okay. And then what happens when the girlfriend's not there? You, you, you should read it and find out yourself. Okay. All okay, right. it's good. It's good. Okay. I think you'd like it. I think that I just wouldn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. And then the last one, uh, I actually finished solo leveling, so I, I like that one a lot. Solo but leveling it's, it's is more, good. As, I heard it more falls than a manhwa, off. Though. It's not a manga. Yeah, I heard it falls off tremendously in part two after the Chimera Ant arc. So I'm too afraid to uh to read that. So because the, the part one was so Chimera Ant arc obviously being the arc with all of the Giant. Fuck. Oh, I was uh, say. Yeah, bro. So good. I, I'm so scared to read it, but I really want to. Is it finished or no? It's finished. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was really good after that or two personally, but I, I'm also okay. easy to please. Oh, it's good, but I think it's too linear. Like it's easy to mm -hmm. predict. It's for like it's oh, for like yeah, definitely. It's for like the younger audience, you know. Well, I'll yeah. be real. Like I'm not really going into a power fantasy manga expecting anything too complex. So I kind of was like, don't care, you know. I'm just like, oh man, he's gonna get stronger and beat the bad guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. you can no way that happen. Like the whole part. Yeah, I heard. I heard season one ends on him saying "arise," which is just about the right. coolest shit ever, dude. Like. I'll be, I wanted to watch uh, so long because I've already read the manhwa to part one, but uh, I got addicted to Hasbin Hotel, man. I've watched it twice already, bro. I mean, I just, just finished oh that, <laughs> bro. It's so good. Like people surprisingly, think yeah. People think it's giga cringe. To be fair, it totally is. The first but, two three episodes was a little hard, but I got. I, I, I was okay addicted. after episode one. I was totally cool with it. It was episode. I think one. I got in three. 
Episode one, first half was cringe. Episode four was borderline unwatchable. But two, three, five, six, seven, eight, so good. I love musicals. I'm a big theater kid, so I love that shit. Do and, you uh, remember when you shamed me for liking Has Been Hotel the day before you watched it? Yeah. I'd like an apology. No, I'm good. All right, next up. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have the guy who I was told to never speak to. We have Second Poco, man. I'm really glad to have you on here, man. Hey. We had a great conversation the other day. It was dope. Yeah. Yeah, it was was, good. Uh, we're talking like two hours or something like that. Yeah, I'll be real, man. The clips people send me of you are like the worst ever. <laughs> they send you, they send you I get clipped out of context so bad. Like there's yeah. this clip on my stream right now where yeah. there's a uh they said they they literally cut me off at saying, I have never met a woman, and they just cut it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, tell my chat what you do, what you're about. Uh, so I'm a, I guess I'm a gotcha content creator. I started off with, uh, one piece uh, as a content thing. And then I went to seven daily sins. Now I do Genshin and Honkai star rail. We, uh, we do the theory crafting and all that stuff, but more like in the, how is it cool for everyone? Not like in the nitty gritty math stuff. Okay. What do you mean by that? Explain that. What do you mean by that? So, um, what, I, what you try to figure out is exactly who is it good for? Like, we figure out if there is going to be a say, person out there that it, we, like something's Is that the for. royal we, or is there like a group that you have? Group as in everybody in chat. Okay. So, okay, there, yeah. like, let's just say there's um, someone out there that needs to figure out, hey, I want to know if I should summon for X, Y, or Z. Well, we figure out the exact situation where you should do that, and that's the number one thing you should do. And we figure out exactly which characters would be the best for you and figure out a path that you would have to have a really fun account to play. And that's it. Okay, I like that. That's cool as fuck. How long have you been doing content crazy for? Uh, six, seven years. What was the worst? What was the, the worst, worst part of content crazy for you? Uh, have you ever had a I don't want to do this anymore moment? I had course. that moment one time. It was uh, Not multiple times. Yeah, for me it was Sumeru Genshin Impact. I literally really? thought, yeah, I thought I thought what? because I was like, bro, this game is so fucking shit. I am not going to fucking, I can't cover you this shit. You decide anymore. your life choices. <laughs> Straight up. I, I really am. Like, I'm, I'm a very impulsive guy, man. Like, I yeah. will go all in on something, and then I will pull all out within, like, fucking two minutes. Like, what I did to your mom last night. Insane. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what were your moments? Chill. Second. Um, <laughs> uh, they, they're mainly, like, I, I, you know, I have a really big time problem with the world, like, work-life balance. So, what I do is I work, like, seven days a week. So, um, I probably well, just are, get to are a point you, of overwork. You're full-time, no? You're full-time? Yeah, for uh, four years now. Okay, fuck yeah. May five, five, five years. Yeah, yeah. So cool. it's just like overwork. That's all it is. I get that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I feel like uh, for me, the mentality that I really learned uh, recently, well, not recently, maybe a couple of years ago, is uh, it doesn't really matter how much you stream. The only thing that matters is people know when you're live. That's like the only thing that fucking matters. So like yeah. if you conform to a schedule where people know this is when he's live, these are what day he's live for, I'm going to be here at that time. Nothing else. If you stream four hours, if you stream five hours, it doesn't fucking matter. Just as long as people fucking know. That being said, I wouldn't recommend streaming shorter than two hours because then it's just like, okay, you know, if you're not at least streaming the length of the Avatar movie, why the fuck did you click the start stream button, man? Like, what are Wait, you doing? Is, it, is that real? Like a schedule really helps that much? my god yeah sometimes mm -hmm. bro i've been mm -hmm. i've literally yeah, been streaming like whenever i wanted like the past two years man this shit is insane yeah, i'm telling you try try scheduling uh your streams for one month i guarantee you you will see like dramatic increase. one million percent mm -hmm. oh okay yeah because right. i mean just think about it think about it like you know what i'm saying like when people know like you can open a store right and people can walk in any time or you can do a grand opening you know, and like, what do you think people are going to know? Like, what do you, when do you think more people are going to know? Like, if they know when it's open, bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. Like, nobody's going to want to go to a store where one day they show up at six and they're closed. Well, then someday they show up at two and it's closed. And one day it's open at 2 a.m. Like, that store is going to get fucked up. It's, it's better just to have a fucking schedule. That way there's not, you know, that's why store open 8 a.m., store closed 6 p.m. You know, that's just kind of just how it works. But uh, yeah, you should try it. Scheduling is great. Holy shit. I usually get, I mean, Mm -hmm. I get on the same time every day, so I guess I have a schedule just naturally. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like and, uh, natural. In, in case you guys also want to know, prime time for streaming for gotcha creators is within eight a.m. and two p.m. CST. In case you just want to know. Wait, really? I yes. can usually nighttime. 
Yeah. Like 6 a.m. Holy shit. Yeah, 8 a.m. To a. start? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's good because then it's the EU and NA audience overlap. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, a little bit Makes of mega sense. brain shit. All right, next up, we have a man. Three years ago, he was merely my mod. Skip forward two years, he became my roommate. Now my best friend, we have Laurel. Yo. Hey, what up? It's quite the journey, and you can do it too, chat. You just have to be a mod and be a good mod. <laughs> That's every right. Day. Every mod can move in, guys. <laughs> if you're a mod and you want to move in, DM me, man. Just DM and play a little Among Us. It worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> those Among Us games were fire, though, dude. They actually were. I miss those days. Those were I don't, because I was so well, fucking depressed. But the Among Us was good. Yeah, the Among Us was good. <laughs> yeah, Among, Us was great. <laughs> Among Us was great, dude. I remember, I remember waking up 18 hours of straight Among Us every day for like three fucking months, man. That was peak mental illness. We legit have like 250 hours in Among Us on Steam. It's yeah. Because that is like the game that like, that is a workout for your fucking brain. Like locking yeah. in that fucking hard. Yep. And so many things to take in. Like who's doing this? Who's doing that? You got to learn everybody's personalities in like five minutes. It is. It's kind of like going on a date with someone. Like, whenever you go on a date with a new person, I always advocate that the best first date is going to an escape room because you learn who people are underneath insane amounts of stress. And, like, that way you don't have to deal with that shit later. So, yep. yeah, just... For, and also, by the way, Saka, can you go on push and talk because your microphone is fucking terrible. Uh, sorry, just crazy feedback. Oh, there you go. Oh, I didn't even... I had no idea if it was it was going back and forth. Is uh, it's all now? good. Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, yo, tell yo, you, Laurel, you've uh, you've uh, advanced a lot more as a content creator, man. So tell Chat what you've been up to, man. Mm -hmm. I've uh, I stream every day at two p.m. CST, and uh, I pretty much I do my Twitch streams for a couple hours a day, and I've started working on my YouTube a lot more, and I post uh, once a day typically, and I'm doing a lot of short form content. But for Weathering Waves, I'm going to start doing long form content, so that's going to be fun. Yeah, but I've been trying to lock in a lot more for Weathering Waves. Yeah, no, I'm, coming out. I'm I'm very excited for Wuthering Waves to come out and Azure Pamelia to come out because mm -hmm. oh, it's going to spawn Amelia. even more content creators from the space. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. for, for a while, there was like six or seven people that completely dominated the gacha space in Genshin Impact. But with every new game that pops up and pops off, you know, uh, it becomes more of a more universal space. I, I hate when there's a monopoly on a specific game. Oh, it's because the worst. It is, because mm -hmm. these people get to the fucking top and... I, I will just be real. The, the biggest difference between a small content creator and a large content creator, the majority of the times, is just fucking luck. So I, I hate, I fucking hate when like certain people just dominate the space due to, holy shit, bro, bro's doing fucking, what is that, jazz? Hot jazz. jazz. <laughs> can Mustang. you hear it though? Can you, can you hear my mic when I do that or no? Uh, when uh, you snap, can I can hear it. Yeah, but yeah, right now okay. there's no feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, Jesus Christ. I feel like I just got snapped out of the hypnotism. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, a lot of it just comes down to luck. On my screen, you said it wasn't even triggering, so I was like, what, the, what, like, how is he, how is he hearing at all? I don't know, man. It uh, must be a crazy bugging. fucking bug. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it is very frustrating waiting for the luck factor to kick in on YouTube. Obviously, there's a lot of tricks that you can do for it. You know, I've had like five, six, seven successful channels. Uh, yeah. but if you don't hit, if you don't hit the algorithm, yeah, you're just kind of fucked. You were just like, like, okay, well, I didn't get, I didn't roll a fucking nat 20. I guess I'm just fucked. And so you just, you know, take time and you slow grind it. The worst thing I see for newer content creators that really fucking pisses me off mm -hmm. is people who try to grow on Twitch, which is like, that just does not happen. So I see these people grinding 12, 13 hours on Twitch and it's like, bro, like you are not going to grow because Twitch has no system in where growth can fucking happen. So it's like, the best way to grow on Twitch is to have a fucking YouTube, have a fucking TikTok, have a fucking Twitter, where you can actually use the search engines to actually drive people from your content using like all the little tricks and then drive them into your fucking Twitch. But uh, yeah, people who on Twitch, uh, it's one of the biggest mistakes I see people do and then they burn out and then they fucking quit. It's a fucking shame. Yeah, because everyone else streaming like eight, 10, 12 hours a day for like, it was like a month and a half of just straight like eight different gotchas. Yeah, and you were miserable. I was like, uh, yeah, I was, it, it, it it was fun in a way, but like after I got done streaming, I was like, I'm just going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing. I just went straight to bed. So, yeah. yeah. Well, cool. Glad you're here, man. Also, next up, we have Emmy Matcha. I think it's the first time we've ever talked before. Uh, I think, have we, have we done anything before Emmy or no? I don't think so. I think we just know like the same people, but I don't think I've ever actually talked to you. <laughs> Sweet. Well, let's uh, introduce yourself to my, to my chat. Um, I guess. Oh, okay, hi, chat. Uh, I'm Emmy Matcha. I have been streaming. Okay, I'm the opposite. I have been actually on Twitch and streaming for a few years now, but it has been like mainly on and off because 
I don't know, work and I don't know. I don't know. It's just like I wasn't like consistent because I was streaming like a lot of other games, which was um, I like did a lot of MMOs, a lot of RPGs. Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, I did that. I did a yep. Lost Ark. I did um, I did a yeah. It's just a lot of like story based games, like Final Fantasy in general. I um, thought Lost I, Ark was fucking great until it wasn't. And that was really it depressing. True. It was. True. It was so fun. And then it was just took way too much grinding, way too much work. Like I had to match, we had to match like what, eight characters at the end? And it was just too hard. Yeah. Uh, you had and, to like use that for gold. I mean, did you play a MMO gotcha by any chance? No, I haven't. That sounds uh, fucking fun. terrible. That does sound <laughs> Maple <terrible>. Story. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Maple oh, Story's I, good. Oh, is that, love is that considered a gotcha? Okay, I played yeah, Maple the Story clothes. then. Yeah, the clothes. Maple Story gotcha. <laughs> Oh, I always thought I, we were talking the that. hit MMO gotcha RPG Tower of Fantasy that you can I download right now in my I chat. I was talking about that. Bro, that game is so US. fucking ass. It's unbelievable, Dude, bro. I disagree. I was upset. Okay, well, you're wrong. Okay, <laughs> well, the customization was great. Now, now you're right because I, I stopped playing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. Like, I don't think I've ever played Tower of Fantasy with either one getting hacked. Two, being harassed, or three, falling through the fucking map, or four, just wondering why the fuck am I not playing? Like, why am I playing this fucking garbage, bro? Like, why would I be playing Tower of Fantasy? I'm gonna be playing World of Warcraft. I can be playing Final Fantasy fucking 14. The combat is fun. Oh, okay. and the RNG for the, uh, the equipment. Yeah, my, my experience with it was I, gotcha. I was in a Discord <laughs> call. I made my character and I walked off the first ship and then I deleted the game. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nice. So you That's already got company. to end game, man. I'm already there. <laughs> That's huge, bro. W's, man. That's insane. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, what else? I mean, what else do you do? Um, I think within the last year, I started becoming more, I guess, full time because I started streaming Honkai Star Rail. And then, I don't know, I just ended up like, liking the game. And I stream like at the worst hours ever. So I don't think like anyone even watched Star Rail back then. Like, I started streaming, I started streaming at like 10 p.m. my time, PSD. So it's like dead. So you're, you're just, PST is East I'm Coast? A, yeah, I'm uh I'm West Coast. Oh West Coast, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I stream like the worst hours, but I just I yeah. have like trouble sleeping. Um and then I did come from Genshin. That was like my first I guess not my first gotcha as I guess yeah. Maple Story is. But I came from Genshin and then I'm like, oh I'm like I downloaded Saro as a joke. And then I yeah, as a joke because I'm like, hey, I just want to see if I if I win anything good. Yeah. Um and then I just continued streaming it. But yeah, other than that, though, I've just been doing that for the last year. And then I recently started getting into YouTube. Um, and then I took a break from YouTube. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just like, just really chill with it. I'm just letting, I'm just riding the wave right now. Yeah, <laughs> Which fuck is it. probably not good, but I mean, the yeah. most important thing for everybody <laughs> as gotcha content creators right now is just preparing for weathering waves. Like every creator yes. should have at least 10 videos out before Wuthering Ways before it comes out. That's pretty mm -hmm. much it. And that's coming out next month. Right now, we have a little bit of a reprieve. I'll be real. I mean, maybe if you're excited about our Lucino, get in on that. But uh, yeah, what was your mm -hmm. favorite part of Genshin Impact? Do you still play? No, I stopped at like when Inazuma came out. It took way too long. It Did took way too long for content. For story. The story's really good. There's no way I'm going to go through Sumeru. I hate the desert. I'm not gonna go through that. I'm gonna. I will pay someone to go through that for me, if anything. Um, but I, I can't do it because I don't want to explore that yeah. entire world. Um, hey, that's based. If there was, if there was a mount though, I would do it. But there's True. no mount right now. Um, mm -hmm. and so and no like good teleportation system. So I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I, I'll stay on Honkai for now. But yeah, trying to expand to other like gacha games. So yeah, Azure Promelia, Withering Ways. Azure Pamelia has mounts. Wuthering Waves exactly. is going to have mounts. The Yang exactly. Genshin is going to have mounts. What the fuck's going on with that bullshit? But, uh, Man, yeah. I, I didn't say it. I didn't say yeah. it. Hey, congratulations <laughs> for being clean of Genshin Impact. We're all very proud of you. That took a lot of courage <laughs> to share. You. That's amazing. Uh, Ruby, I'm actually, I'm actually curious. So, and I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you like Genshin. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But, you but can I am, if you want. I, I, I will stand my ground. Good. By the way, I'm still pissed <laughs> off you wouldn't tell me that cut out of you that I tried to buy a year and a half ago. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember. What happened? Um, the, the person that you met, they, they still have it. I don't remember who the fuck I met who has it, bro. That's fucked up. Oh, it's, uh, it's someone in my community, but they said I would never give it to Tectone. I said, good. <laughs> what the I don't know why? what he would do with it. He's gonna, he's gonna like, I don't know. Tectone, I'm gonna not do wait. what? 
<laughs> okay, okay. Any, anyways. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I, yeah have a, I, have a, I have a shy <laughs> lily cutout and a buff pup cutout. And then Ooh. I tried to buy a snuffy cutout, but then this fucking dude bought it for $7,000. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Man. Oh my God. I, I mean, you know, I, I say that that's ridiculous, but somebody bought <laughs> my beanie for $66,000. So it's like, okay. <laughs> no, they did No, they didn't. Wow. No, I did a, I did a uh, charity. Uh, charity oh, fund for uh, Ukraine. Okay. And so I was, I was like, selling no like way. items in my house and a dude bought my beanie for 66 grand. So I went to Ukraine, which was fucking dope. But yeah, that was, that was forever ago. But uh, yeah. yeah, also box, I need you to stop turning off your camera and then back on because you're fucking with my brain. You, you're Bro, I'm sorry, man. Like, my, I, I'm, I'm so, so broke. I can't afford good Wi-Fi. I don't believe if it's you're broke, like you are doing something very wrong. I might be. Dude, Pokey is making like five times my money, bro. Like, yeah, it's, it's, ask, him, ask him why he's doing that. Oh, he's daily uploading. Well, that's partially no, my fault, but this motherfucker. Oh, I'm telling oh, you, one conversation with me, man. I will show you the future. Like I'm telling you, bro. It is so people. Con oh my god, content creators fuck themselves so hard. I want to. I want to tell you about this genuine. This is a real story. Uh, so I worked for another gamer. Uh, I'm not going to say what they are. I worked for another energy drink company before Gamer Subs, and uh, I had a deal where I was getting ten thousand dollars a month. Okay, plus ten percent of what I sold. Okay. One of my friends who did not know what the fuck they were doing, who had the same CCV as me, accepted a contract for a deal with them for their energy drinks. Only how much do you think they got for their contract? Because they did not negotiate it. They took their first offer. I got $10,000. We had the same CCV. How much money do you think they got a month, Box? $4,000. $500. Yes. Oh, yes. The entire fucking thing? Yes, $500 oh a Holy month, and they were locked in for two years. And so that's why content wow. creators who don't know their worth, who don't know how much they should be charging, or who don't oh know how many God. ads to run, like oh, they, are, no. they are fucking themselves because corporations do not give a shit about you. They are going to take advantage of you. And that's why you like get informed, and that way you never get used again because I'll be real. If you have over like 50K views per YouTube video, if you have over 1,000 CCV on Twitch, you should not have money issues at all you should be very 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 well set up so if you're hitting either one of those boxes and you're having money issues you are doing something fucking wrong so definitely yes box how much hey. okay box how much money do you think i made last year fuck 50 dollars um, <laughs> 50 dollars <laughs> <laughs> hey fuck it uh five million no nah, i wish that'd be insane i made 2.3 million dollars <laughs> okay, right, last right. year two point right. jesus christ yeah but the, pro the problem the problem is is that a lot of content creators are very uncomfortable talking about how much money they have and to be fair that's totally okay but like, I like talking about it to at least inform people. They can kind of base how much they're making off of how much I'm making in accordance to how their analytics structure up. And yeah, it might make Twitch chat uncomfortable. Yeah, they might not give me as many subs because they know I'm a fucking millionaire. But like, I feel like it's better to at least let my peers know that you should be making this money. That way, you know, four, five, six years, something happens, you don't want to do content creation anymore. You still got a good like amount. That way you don't have to go fucking work at a fucking 7-Eleven or a fucking Walmart because, you know. When you do this career, oh, I want to get into this very heavily because I love this shit. So it was very different when I started this career five years ago to how it is now. Because before, when you do this career, it was essentially you are going to sacrifice the time where you could have been studying for an actual sustainable career and making consistent income once you retire. Like you, you, you weren't able to do that. But now the business has changed where if you do have a successful channel, uh, companies and businesses will consider that work experience. And so being a content creator can transfer into becoming like PR managers or, uh, uh, or like someone who goes on someone's social media and uh, makes viral posts for them. Right. So it, it transfers a lot and also helping, uh, you know, there's also content creator managers where you can manage other people's channels. So the, the business is changing very, very, very rapidly. Uh, and there's, this is such a fucking deep complex topic that I love talking about, but I, Twitch chat doesn't give a fuck and they just spam yap whenever I talk about this. So I'm just going to shut the fuck up. Uh, regardless. <laughs> oh, next, yeah, um, we have my number one glazer. <laughs> Next up, we have, yes, sorry, that's we me. Have, we have the worst League of Legends player. No, next up we have Hex Juice. Very, oh, very, very sweet. Oh my god, very I, I don't want this to be part of who I am. Hello, hello I Twitch know. chat. Hello YouTube. How are you guys doing? Um, Dude, you, um, get, name... you get way too much shit for simply just being friends with me. It is so annoying. To yeah, say. yeah, it's definitely something. Um. But I mean, if somebody's gonna say, "Oh, you're just like Tectone," ooh, I'm gonna say, "Okay, well, I'm like a successful millionaire." Woo! Okay, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my name is Hex Juice. I am a Batgirl VTuber and um, Yapaholic on the internet. 
How have you been I enjoying? I like to yap. How have you been enjoying content creation? Because you kind of blew up out of nowhere uh, a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah. I got kind of picked up out of the ether of being a small, shitty, uh, twenty CCV content creator for over is a that, year. Is that how much you actually stream for a year to twenty viewers? Twenty five. Yeah, I was twenty five uh, years. No, 25 no, years. Yeah. 25 yeah. years. Holy. <laughs> Holy. Uh, yeah, I, I, I streamed to a small audience for a year. I was a Pokemon streamer and I had grown a bit, but then I decided I didn't like Pokemon anymore and the community was annoying. So then I went back down to 25. Um, Pokemon. Wait, what, what did you possibly make for Pokemon? Uh, jack shit. I just streamed and made shitty TikToks. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yo, have you, there's a there's a third party because I feel like the best Pokemon games are the third party ones. There's this really mm -hmm. fun one called Pokemon Rogue. Uh, you can mm -hmm. Google it. Really, I'm probably gonna play that later today, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's like it's like a fully functional Pokemon Rogue like. Like it is yeah, so much yeah. fucking fun. You should try that shit on stream sometime. But uh, yeah, so how how was it going from a Pokemon content creator to a Gotcha content creator? Well, I had like Pokemon, and then I had a brief period of um, sort of. <laughs> losing my mind because I didn't know who I was without Pokemon for a while and, and then started to make content that was more similar to what I actually wanted to make because I got kind of stuck in a Pokemon hole. Um, and yeah. so uh, I really the bigger difference is like being somebody that nobody really like listened to me or knew anything or cared about what I was talking about to suddenly like creators that I very much looked up to and, and had cared about for a long time knowing who I was and what I said about them. Which was terrifying. But it was cool, <laughs> right? It was cool. It was it was super cool, but it happened literally like it was like one week I had twenty viewers, and then the next week I had a hundred, and then like a couple weeks after that I'm over two hundred, and it was just like really fast. And um, it's really cool. It's been quite a ride, but it has been. Um... Why are you? <laughs> What's so, happening in chat right don't, now? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, it, so just use Pella spam is killing me. Yeah. I have been harassed so severely for Pella for so long. <laughs> and oh now I finally God. have her. And now I'm being harassed. Well, why aren't you using Black Swan? Because I don't have one. Uh, dude, I so never I, had one. I actually wanted to talk to you about this, and I wanted everybody to uh, kind of weigh in on this topic because uh, you okay. went through something that I feel – Almost every gacha creator has probably gone through mm -hmm. at least once in their time of covering gacha games, which is you were telling me how you felt gaslit from the community where you make a video about <sighs> yeah. one thing and people misinterpret it entirely and say, that's not what you said. You said this. <laughs> and then you have to argue a viewpoint that you did not have for your video. Yeah. And so I, yeah. I want you to talk about your doctor ratio and how, how, the, how that turned out for you. Okay. So I said... What, what my words were personally was that Dr. Ratio is not a good across the board suggestion for every single new player. Yep. That's what I said. Yep. What I apparently said was that he is the worst character in the game and, and worse him, than Arlen. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, um, and so, and then I started sort of like joking about it yep. as if I like, but I also would add in that he supports. You know, he's a racist and um, he'll give you a Trojan virus on your computer if you have canon. him on your account. Yeah, <laughs> yep. that's canon. And uh, nobody could tell, apparently, that that was a joke. So, um, yeah, it's been very interesting. I, even I'm starting to be like, oh, my God, do, do I think Ratio is the worst character in the game? Is that what I thought all along? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine my ass when I said I didn't like Yunjin singing. So people say, oh, so you hate Chinese people. And I'm like, yeah, no, that is what you no. said, though. God, this guy's racist. <laughs> like, no, that's that's not what I said, like at <laughs> all. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I am curious. Does anybody else have a, have a, any time in the gotcha community or any time at all that you guys like to share about uh, any moment where you were attempting to say one thing and then your community took it the complete fucking opposite? I think we all had that happen. Um, do tell oh, daily. Do uh... tell. I mean, no, I posted like one video on YouTube. I actually went to Box about this because this was when I first like started posting. Wait, videos. you went to Box for advice? I know, I what? know, you right? Did. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I know, oh, right? God. But yeah. but like, I posted one video and it went viral because it was about Genshin. They're not Genshin versus Honkai Star Real Time, mm -hmm. and it was literally just me fence sitting. Like I wasn't, I wasn't saying anything like 
up like up like crazy. Give me no the quote. Crazy takes. Do you remember the quote? Um, no, there's no quote. It's just like the okay. whole video. Everyone yeah. just took out of context. They read the title. They took it out of context. They read like the description mm -hmm. yeah. out of context. And then I say one thing, they'd be like, or they look at my team and they'd be like, oh my god, you're just a meta gamer. You don't know what you're talking about. I'll be like, what does like that wasn't even the point of the video. Like the point of the video was just be like, why can't Genshin just like do better for their game? That was yeah. the, basically mm -hmm. the whole thing. Um, but everybody just took it out of context. So it scared the heck out of me because I never had like a viral video, I guess, or anything over like any like a huge amount. Cause it was it went to like 55k views. Yeah. And I'm exactly. like, wow. I had no idea like what to do because everybody was like hate commenting and then they were like being really nice and then there was like the whole other spectrum of like them bringing in other content creators names in there and then mm -hmm. slandering them and i was just like i don't know what to do here because i was like i i didn't say anything about anybody else it was just a really fence sitter video um so yeah i actually went to box i'm like what are you doing he's like um just ignore it yeah. See, if you would have like, came okay. to me, I would have gave you way better advice. Now it's like, it right, drop it right now, man. Drop it right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Drop the advice, farm the yeah. dumbasses. Farm the dumbasses. <laughs> Do a follow up. Do the same shit. Do the same. Keep going because here's the thing: if they're talking about you, you're doing something right. I would have farmed <laughs> the fuck out of that, dude. Holy shit! I love farming dipshits all day. As <laughs> as the biggest dipshit of them all, it's very fun for me. Uh, but yeah, uh, Coach, did you say you had uh, an experience with this or no? Well, yeah, I mean, it's not as serious, but one time you called me bald when I do have hair. So there's that. I started, <laughs> I started, believing, I started believing I might actually be bald. And since then, I think I've started losing more hair every day. So let's I see think it, it has accelerated the process. Let's, uh, let's see the hairline. Uh, effect. Here, go, go, like, go like this. Like I've this. got the Avatar, the last airbender, like arrow. No, but, on top no, but what, what, what you got going on back here? What you got going on back here? You have a ponytail. You got you got any balding spots yet? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, actually, oh, I don't that know. That shit, that that shit actually looking kind of luscious. Yeah, that is that's looking good, man. Yeah, that's, I, that's, I don't know. <laughs> imagine tech then, spreading misinformation. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the the other one is my chat always calls me a whale when I am in fact just a, a medium sized dolphin fish is what I, I like. To, I like to call myself. We need to talk more about that that very 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 soon because I do want to get into the whole spending uh, as a content creator in Gotcha Games. Anybody else have any story they want to share for like one thing that they said that they did not mean that way at all? Uh, the, there was one time where I posted a, a shit post Honka Star Wars short and someone yeah. with a Chi Chi McDonald's hat wearing profile picture and I just, my oh. blood pressure went up. <laughs> oh. that, that's it. Oh. They just said what Genshin players see for Zinyan and my blood pressure went up by a lot. I'm shocked, Seka. I was definitely expecting you to, Seka, who are you talking to, bro? I just turned on the street. That's what I was just thinking. Oh, okay. I, was I, say, I, I am shocked you do not have a story about you being taken out of context in the worst way possible because I have heard so much horrible shit about you. It's insane. Mm, there's too many. Oh, yeah, there is way too many, I guess. <laughs> yeah. there, there's, like, just way too many. Like, uh, I was clipped out of context for people saying that I thought Kaya was better than Ayaka, like, just straight up. Yeah. And then they just left it there and then didn't even go into the context that I went into. It was like, well, in this situation, Kaya's better because you don't, like, like, you can actually move. Yeah. But you can't with Ayaka. Yeah. But that was the whole context, and, like, they just cut it. They do, like, every single day on every single thing. It'd be like so that. It's hard but to find one. Yeah, there was this one time that, uh, you know how like when you stream a lot and like you bounce, like uh, I'm, I don't know how long you guys have been streaming for, but eventually you, you develop this mental illness that every streamer has, which is when you're talking to like thousands of people at the same fucking time every fucking day, your brain goes from one place to another place, right? And we're going on a little bit of a tangent because we have one more introduction to do, but the last little tangent real quick. Uh, and this one girl talked to me about gaslighting, right? And so I'm like talking to all these people and oh, I get shit. a donation about being gaslit. And this was like the most unfortunate thing ever, right? Because this person was oh, like, oh yeah, this. really glad to be here. Just got gaslit by my boyfriend. And I'm like, oh fuck, man, that sucks. Dude, chat, you know what I fucking hate? I hate people who lie about being gaslit. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> totally not related to her whatsoever, but it looks uh, so bad. And it looks so bad. I was I just like, eh, fuck it. I might as well have actually said it, to be honest. That shit was so fucking unlucky. Uh, but but it is what it is. Regardless, uh, last introduction, we have a very sweet person who I met recently in real life. We went bowling. It was a very fun time. We have Mary Maybe. Tell Chad about what you do besides League of Legends. 
Okay. Well, anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just recently got into gotcha games. Yeah, I mean League of Legends, but you know, whenever I need a detail or like chill, I started out with Genshin since release date, and I've been addicted until Honkai Star Rail came out, and now I'm addicted to Honkai Star Rail. Wait, you don't play Genshin so now anymore? I'm in. Huh? You don't play Genshin oh, anymore? I still play Genshin uh, here and there. Um, because you know, am I the I only Genshin Super player left? And, like, you know, uh, um, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. Yeah. And, that's, and that's okay. We accept you for who you are, and you don't need to be ashamed of that. Okay. We still all support you. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Story. Yeah. I mean, I do the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back for Arlucino as well, and I, I'm gonna do the Farina 4.2 quest. I I, wonder, I, I have nothing against Genshin whatsoever. But uh, just Honkai Star Rail for me, it's just like, fuck, it's so goddamn good. And like, yeah, I, I don't know how people do Genshin and Honkai at the same time. Because like, they're, they both oh, have such. Oh, it's easy. Oh, okay. You well, just great. play, okay, you play Genshin on PC and you auto battle on your phone. On Honkai. That's exactly what, that's I, what I do. I do. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm not going to play these fucking games on my phone. Okay. The only game I'm going to play on my phone <laughs> is the greatest gotcha game ever created. Cookie, yeah. run, we get it. Kingdom. Cookie Run Kingdom. Kingdom. Okay, yo, Techie, you could, on my phone right now, auto play. What's up, you can play it in the like. You can just alt tab because Genshin doesn't take enough resources on your PC, so you just like put Honkai on one brow. Was there on the other one? Just alt tab between both. Uh, yeah, but it's that. just it's just very stressful because Genshin gives me a lot of anxiety because of the spiral. <laughs> this, so I don't know if I can handle that. So. <laughs> yeah, I take things one at a time. But uh, yeah, Cookie Run Motherfucking Kingdom. That's the best game of all time. So tell me about League of Legends, man. Why do you play that oh. so fucking much? By the way, do you know how... Dude, you do not talk to your chat. I sit in your chat and I talk to you and you <laughs> never see... It, it's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like, what? Bro, I'm so like in the zone. You like, you don't understand, man. I'm a very competitive person. I mean, you saw in bowling, but like uh, before Twitch streaming, I used to do sports. I used to play soccer. I used to kick people and trip them in the field. Like I'm super competitive. So League was like my toxic competitive game, okay? And then I get tilted and I'm just like, I need to play other games. And then I, I got introduced to Gotcha and I got, you know, addicted to it. I would watch Tech, Lakari, like when they play gotcha games like it was fun yeah. and then i got into the community wait so what <laughs> what rank are you in league uh peak d1 as a collie mid but right now i'm e3 e4 because i haven't e3. played i took what a break fuck is e3 what the fuck oh emerald they added emerald oh yeah wait that's Dude, it? i took a huge uh, break because of only fangs the wow the wow i thought you thing. were going somewhere totally different with that but yeah <laughs> only fangs that shit is crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's insane. No. Yeah, no, I took a huge break from League because wow, and uh now I suck. I'm rusty in League, so I'm I'm trying to get back up. I, I was D1 and it's just gone now. I was yeah, always I masters. The, I peaked D two back in season three and then never tried ever again. Uh, Me too. Yeah, yeah. It's just like I'm just like I'm You good. just hit your peak and you're done. Like you, you just you don't have yeah. the energy to try yeah. again. Now I just play drag because they took the best game mode out of the fucking game. They took out threes. Threes was oh, the best. Yeah. It was the best League of Legends Twisted ever. Twisted Tree Line. It was Twisted so fucking line. good. Uh, it it breaks my heart that. how they ruined that. Because I never got to see it. You should look up how, dude. Laurel, I'm telling you, if we played threes, I that I would have been a threes content creator. Because one, I was fucking insane. Because like you it know, sounds how it was. fun as fuck. Yeah. No, it is. Because like, dude, having four other fucking friends is so mm -hmm. hard. Like it was <laughs> just me and this dude and called Josh and Jesse. We were the three J's, and we fucking slaughtered. Like, we slaughtered everybody. We beat the number one threes team in North America. Their name was Fat Well Fat. A little bit of pretense. Mm -hmm. We lost to them 17 times before we beat them once. But when we beat them, <laughs> it was crazy. Just get the win? <laughs> I'm out. It was you crazy. Know, yeah, you know, they're adding a PVE soon on League. So you can play either by yourself or with, like, one, two, three other friends. Like, they're adding a PVE mode. And that they're sounds... bringing back arenas. 2v, 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 2v. You know, oh, that, that should be permanent. That I think is, it's gonna be permanent. Good. I think. I don't yeah. know. They're bringing it back though. Yeah. No, that shit was so fucking good. Uh, but yeah, uh, I remember we were going up to do our first tournament together. We were doing like this tournament with all the other like best three uh, tournament players, and then they replaced me. They replaced me with this uh, dude, um, which I can't say his username. Um, it was uh, the Magic N word. I can't say it. Uh, oh. But yeah, he was my homie Javois. He was black, so it's okay that his username was that. Uh, but yeah, they kicked me out because they thought I was like not pulling my weight for some reason. And then they <laughs> lost the tournament. They lost every single round. And then they said, yeah, man, we shouldn't have replaced you. But at that point I was like, eh, I'm good. I'm out. 
<laughs> yeah, didn't, didn't play for two years. That shit, that shit fucking pissed me the fuck off. But, oh, uh, man. Yeah, it is Dude. what it is, man. Do y'all like team fight tactics? I've been thinking about maybe getting back I, into that. It's I mean, I made the mistake of rolling mm -hmm. for the characters because gotcha, and I said gotcha. so much. Hey, I got they them got all, me. Mary. I got they them got all. Me. <laughs> I fucking love TFT, man. There's an insane Morgana skin out right now, too. Oh, man. It is so fucking funny. All right. Anyways, the intro is done. That only took 45 fucking minutes. That was awesome. <laughs> to be honest, we can honestly call it a day right here, but now we're actually going to get to our first topic, which, ooh, I want to go over here real quick. So we are later going to talk about the 2.1 story, uh, but I do want to talk about money. I do want to talk about money more. It's very important mm. to me because, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't get this shit because they'll see these streamers and these content creators who will go and they C6 a fucking unit, they R5 a fucking unit, and it's kind of just become the norm. Like, before, when we first started Genshin Impact, uh, I was one of the, well, I was the biggest whale on Genshin Impact. I, mean, I don't think anybody spent anywhere near as much as me besides maybe Tenha. Uh, but yeah, it was a space where gotcha games were kind of blowing up, and people just started spending tons of fucking money. And the problem was, when it happened for the first of Genshin, it was like, oh my god, what, look what this fucking guy's doing. But now everybody's doing it. I mean, when you go live on a new patch day of a content creator, every single content creator is spending ludicrous amounts of money. Everybody's going on people's accounts and somebody is spending fuck tons of money on them. Um, okay. But I am curious, uh, when you aren't a full-time gotcha creator, whether you are now or whether, like, whether, whether, you, whether you're full-time now, go back to the times when you were first starting your channel, when you didn't have like, you know, the, 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 the knowledge that it's a write-off, uh, when you didn't have the money to be able to afford that. Maybe you still don't. But as a whale content creator, if you've ever done that, I would love to know uh, how that was when you think, man, I really want to make some good content for these gotcha games, but I really feel like I need to pull these characters to keep up with the other content creators, but I have no fucking money in my bank account. Did you all have any story about where like you had to rationalize how to spend in order to make a video or make a stream? for your chat by uh, maybe going into the negatives for gotcha games. Yeah, Mary, go ahead. So I do like uh, donation goals or I find like special events like for my birthday. I was like, mm. oh my God, Raiden Shogun just came out. That sounds really nice to have as a birthday gift. And then yeah. it's C6 and you know, it was chat. Chat did that for me. You actually got your Raiden C6? For my birthday. Just, just from your, just for, that's insane. <laughs> that is fucking Nothing nuts. else is C six though. Actually, Mona is because I lost so many fifty fifties. But yeah, dude, what I did <laughs> to uh, kind of circumvent that issue was I would do one sub for one summon, and so every summon generally costs around a dollar and nineteen cents on average. But every sub nets you around a dollar and eighty six. So yeah, I would sense. do that shit uh, and never do it for. I, I I can't stress this enough because there's a lot of content creators who will get a direct donation. And they'll say, pull with this money. And then they'll pull, and then the people will refund their donation. And that can fuck, dude. Okay. I have gone in negative $400 Ooh. in my bank account uh, due to a guy revoking his donation, bro. Never trust donations. Uh, you can't refund. Uh, that shit has to sit there for six months before it's no longer refundable. Uh, just be very careful with donations. But yeah, do you guys have any stories about uh, what you had to do in order to vote? Yeah, what up, Kush? I mean, I, I run this thing right now. I call it the daily deal. Right now, I think I have it at 20 subs, where if we get 20 subs in a stream, I do a 10 pull. And like so, that. so that really helps. I call it like the people's account. I, I say, I'll be the people's whale. <laughs> you know, I, I, I try to make that a whole thing. And, you know, we get into it sometimes. I ended up getting a sparkle because chat forced me. I was like, I want to save my pulls for Acheron, but we hit the daily deal like seven streams in a row. And they were like, you're getting sparkle. And I was Dude, like, that's fucking I guess awesome, I'm getting man. sparkle. I, I like that's that idea horrible. a lot. The Daily Deal. Dude, that is so fucking smart, man. I still can't get over the fact that her name is fucking Sparkle and not Hanabi. Because I love, I love, I love the name Hanabi but, so much better. Yeah, well, Hanabi. Hanabi years. just means fireworks, right? Well, yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah. I mean, shit, maybe. <laughs> it might. I thought it meant Sparkle. Does it not? Yeah. It means uh, I, I thought it meant fireworks, fireworks in Japanese. Wait, is, okay. is her name still Hanabi? Well, it I mean, like a sparkle Japanese. in the night sky. Oh, I mean. Wait, so if I, if I call, because the problem is like, if I go up to somebody and I say, oh yeah, my favorite anime is Nanatsu no Taizai and Kimitsu no Yaiba, like I'm going to sound like, like <laughs> such a fucking weeb. Like I feel like I'm like, yeah. you know, like, okay, <laughs> actually, like I'm just saying like, like, uh, can we just actually call her Hanabi because it sounds so much better, but whatever, but I, I love Sparkle so much, man. 
I did not want to pull for her at all. And then I saw her trailer, and holy fuck, that shit is like everybody. So good. It was so yeah, everybody. good. I'm like addicted. Yeah, like, I, I came I back. I came back to I used to saw her for her. Why I did you quit? Started- uh, because at the time my chat didn't know anything about HSR and it was kind of boring to stream because I had no viewers. <laughs> I mean, that is so valid. That is a hundred percent valid. <laughs> However, like I, I am that. a I am a firm advocate to where when my chat doesn't know what's going on and they complain more, that makes me want to play that game more. Mm. Because mm. I, then I, I also found it. Elden Ring. You didn't beat that. I did, yeah. I beat actually. I beat it, and I also beat every single boss. I did all 165 bosses. There's 165. Yep. Damn. What do you say that number out loud? I just got to the capital. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So how 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 was the mimic tier? Did you enjoy using that? I don't appreciate the tone in which you said that. <laughs> I don't even know what a mimic tier is. I, I that was very dis- that was very. Ridiculous. I I I. I, I, I I use Mimic Tear. I also use Black Knife Tish, but it was after they were both nerfed, so. Yeah, <laughs> guys. I'm a really skilled gamer. Yeah, guys. Dude, oh my god. The elitism in the Elden Ring community is so fucking Holy annoying. shit. You're telling me you used magic one time to finish off the boss? Invalid. Invalid. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the Millennia fight with Mimic Tear, though, Laro? Oh, because there's literally there's there's a there's a millennia fight on YouTube and it's on this kind of the status quo. Guy summons mimic tier. Okay, homeboy stands up. Oh, it's a summon. I I don't think I'm gonna use those yet. Sit yeah, it's a summon. And just watch the boss get a hundred to zero by the fucking summon, bro. It is That's so bullshit, yeah. bro. Yeah, mimic tier OP. Dude. Oh yeah, the mimic tier is giga OP, but now it's it's just completely gone. Like the, I just feel like for Elden Ring, just don't use summons, guys. You can use magic if you want. You can use magic because people don't. People don't understand because magic looks like it's really OP and it is very good in a lot of situations, but you need a lot, a lot of uh, preparation and mats in order mm-hmm. to uh, beat certain bosses using magic and all that shit. I but, also find myself yeah. as like a, as a melee sword user, I find myself having a hard time using magic sometimes. Cause I think I just have a window, but I don't. Yeah. It's like the range. As I mean, I've, there. I've never used it. I've only watched it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. a big strength user guy, but I also loved yep. X-Men. I thought rivers of blood was fun as fuck until they nerfed it into yes. the fucking ground. I only use Vihander, and that shit's triple Z tier. That's when the I, worst weapon in the whole game. <laughs> when I played, dude, Vihander so sick. When I played yeah, the game cool. and I used Rivers of Blood, it was worse than uh, the uh, what is it called? The Curved Hound Great. You know what I'm talking oh, about? The, the, the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound. Great Bloodhound Great Great that, that's, that's what that's the one I'm using. Crazy, dude, bro. Tucker, yeah, it is it's so, so fucking broken. good. It is so mm-hmm. fucking good. You picked a great weapon. And the weapon art is so cool. I know, it's so I just fun. Spam that shit, man. I couldn't even figure out how to use the weapon art. I yeah. think until I got. Like almost to the capital. Yeah. Holy shit! Wait, I've been like I've been whole... apparently doing the game on hard mode. I didn't even know because yeah. I've been yeah. just walking through with like jump charge attacks and like normal attacks the whole game with nothing else, no summons, yeah. and like no one's taught me how to do anything. So I just I'm just gonna keep going. So for gotcha content creators, a lot of the times uh, these new creators get tied down to only covering HoYoVerse games due to the fact that a lot of the analytics for these games uh, are overinflated. I'm sure we can all mm-hmm. tell the difference between covering a Hoyo gotcha game and a, and a non Hoyo gotcha game is the difference of generally about, you know, 40 to 60% for analytics. Uh, I do think it spawned a lot more viewers for general gotcha viewership on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, but I am wondering if there's any gotcha games that you guys want to talk about for the future or ones that you wanted to talk about in the past that you think don't get enough recognition and are still very good gotcha games to cover, whether that's just from a uh, enjoyment perspective or a content perspective. And I wanted to start to, with you, Laro, because I know you're playing like five gotcha games right now, and I'm wondering what your favorite gotchas to play are right now. Uh, my favorite gotcha to play right now, when Honkai Staro has stuff to do, yeah, like the story is my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite one because I just am really invested in the story right now. But I do still, I, I, I think that Punishing Great Raven genuinely, respectfully has the like the best gotcha gameplay, but the worst story, pretty is much. Is it really that bad? It's so bad. I tried to read it to chat like I do Nikkei. Yeah. And it felt like my brain was getting more and more flat and smooth by the second. <laughs> and chat is like, yo, wait till chapter nine. And then we got to chapter and nine like, and it's literally no, a I'm good. <laughs> And the character, it, because the characters don't move, so they just sit there looking at you like. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, this is a dire situation. I'm about to die. 
Damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I know, man. People say that shit all the time. They're like, "Oh, yeah, but oh, Genshin gets really good in Fontaine." I'm like, "Okay, great." Mm. Does that mean I want to deal with the first three fucking years of content before that? Fuck no, absolutely not. No. I, people like to say that Genshin's story is very good, and I will agree it has good moments, but. I don't think that Genshin's story compares to anything in the top 100 anime that's ever been made. Like, I don't think Genshin's story is better than Vinland Saga. Fuck, I don't even think it's better than Bochi the Rock. I don't even think that it's better than fucking Demon Slayer. Like, uh, it is very hard for me to understand why people gas that fucking story up so much because I feel like there are much better anime. And I want to talk to you about that, about you, Ruby. What, what, what anime do you think Genshin's story is better than? I only watched like a few animes in there, so oh I feel like. Oh my god! Really? Yeah. Have, you ever, have you ever seen Vinland Saga? No, I haven't. Have you seen Berserk? No. <laughs> I I'll tell you what I watch. Yeah. I, I watch a lot of shonen, but my favorite is Parasite. I always don't watch that Parasite. The Maxim. Parasite's great. Uh, I watch Terran Resonance, also called Zonkyo no Terror. If you don't know. No idea. Um, I started Free Run, but I didn't finish Free Run. Did you get bored as fuck? No, I I just didn't have time. Like free I, run, it free run is where you sit down and you need to like pay attention. Bro, that shit bored me to fucking tears. <gasps> Stop. I, you sound what? like a Gen Z right now. Uh, <laughs> you sound like a like I, I saw on Twitter that there was a huge debate about free run, and someone was like, free run's so boring, and then it turned out it was because they watched it on like times two. But like free run is about enjoying, you know, like like you're enjoying the anime. Sure, man. Yeah, I'll be real. Wait, that is not it's really what nice. I... It's like wholesome. The the, the yeah. music's good too, and the character development. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Ah, uh, what did I'm, you did you get to the I'm part with good. the red hair character? I know you said no, you guys like three no, episodes. No, no, okay, no. the red hair character I think makes it way better. Oh, oh, he the wasn't there for the army. Oh, the, the, dude, the last killer thing word. that happened was um the white hair chick Free Run taught the purple hair girl how to do the Omega attack, and they killed the ancient demon that came out of nowhere. That's like the beginning. Yeah, I know. Dude, it gets better. <laughs> okay, sure, but like you know, it's like I could I could watch Free Run or I could just watch Vinland Saga again, you know, and like I'm just that's like the best anime I ever oh, fucking made. Wait, actually, if you don't like watching Free Run, then you should try reading it. I'll probably do that. I'll probably sure, do that. Skim shit. It. But I yeah. mean, generally, if you have not seen Vinland Saga, watch that shit. That is the best anime I ever fucking made. Oh, bro. it's so good. It's I still need to see the second Kodos one. Kodos Duka season three is also out too. Kodos Duka season three is out. Yeah, it's is two it? episodes. I haven't watched any because I want to watch oh, what you're but I haven't seen any yet. Fuck, That's I exciting. can't wait, bro. Yep, That's yep. insane. I, oh, you I guys like that shit, bro? Like, ain't no fucking way, man. What, Kona Super? I feel like that shit. Kona Super? Yeah, dude, I feel like that shit is the, the most overrated fucking dude. It literally made me single, single handedly hate Isekai's, man. It was so bad. Oh, well, Kona Kona which one is it? You just have huh? horrible opinions, man. Like, what yeah, yeah, Which show? Oh, what was the which show hate you? Like, it's hilarious. Yeah. No, I didn't. I don't think I laughed a single time. And like, maybe I was just dead tired because I was like watching at like five a.m. So who knows? Bro, man. aren't you like fifteen, bro? That should be like your your humor, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel attacked in here, man. Like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I feel fucking attacked. No, you should you should uh, you should give it another shot, man. It's funny as fuck. It is funny as fuck. And it's just, um, it, the animations are nuts. Like when Megumi does her explosion, it looks so fucking insane. Yeah. My son just constantly is just like singing the theme song. He's like, dun, 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 dude, I catch myself. You saying you have I'll a son like, is dun, fucking nuts. Dun, dun, I can't. Dun, dun, oh dun, man, dun. I'll eventually get to that stage in my life. How is it being a content creator, a gotcha content creator, uh, with kids? Is that hard? Uh yeah, but life lessons are really fun with gotcha games. How old are they? So. Uh, my, because this will be a crazy number and you'll hate this. Yeah. Uh, my, my daughter is, uh, 14 and uh, she's my stepdaughter and my, my son is nine. Jesus yeah. Christ. What? Yeah. What do they think about I, I, what you do? Okay. So, um, since I've been doing it for so long, right. Um, on my daughter's, I think it was her like ninth birthday. She she came in and we were she wanted to do gotcha pulls for oh, her you birthday. Let him play? No, no, no. So listen, oh, listen. Yeah. Okay. So um we we raised enough money to go take her to Chuck E. Cheese for her birthday, right? And then after she went to Chuck E. Cheese for her birthday, she came back and did gotcha pulls for her birthday. And her birthday's around uh New Year's, so there's like a big celebration thing and everything, right? So like 
she she's done, she comes on stream and we do these like a full set of gotcha pulls and I, I tell her okay great so we just did a bunch of summons and she's had a great time the whole time so you know how much that cost and and she's like no how much and I'm like okay well it cost as much as uh, five birthday parties her face like just dropped and yep. she was like oh, really and I'm like yeah do you ever want to spend money again and she's like no. <laughs> 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 so it's like it's all in like how you do it yeah that's yeah. insane and to uh to your point on cookie run kingdom yeah we, we, i play with my kids that's Aww. fire with cookie run yeah well we did we don't play anymore because you know it, the power creep got too insane uh, what are you talking about bro? <laughs> power creep, fine, man. dude dude i'm like top five thousand. i'm using complete free-to-play team man i got my snapdragon i got my creme brulee my financier free to play well, I'm saying like my team could be free to play. You know what I'm saying like, mm. oh, how, how many actually. copies? Wait, no, 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 because I saw you pull like four freaking Snapdragons in like three minutes. So, how many copies of each of those free to play cookies are you using, well, no, sir? No, but here's the thing, though. I said, what I'm saying is, right? I it's just accelerated <laughs> how fast the free to play because the free to play could get to where I'm at. Yeah, in about right? five years. Yeah, <laughs> right? exactly. And here's the thing, that's not my problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. that is, that is oh, not. Okay. They can just play for five years and they can do what I do. It's not my problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Mr. Pokey Max refreshes every day, he he just he just accelerated how much a free to play player could get the nicest <laughs> yeah, yeah, relics yeah, in the game. Absolutely. That's what it is. He's like, he's basically free to play. It's very relatable. Mm -hmm. He's really out of touch, isn't he? Like he's got to be the most <laughs> out of touch. Dude, when he made that video saying get what was it 179 speed on two units that oh shit was fucking Jesus. did you see that shit box or no dude I've, I've heard about it just just like hearing that alone is like what the fuck yo i just got like what a hundred um what's my average on like all my units i don't build speed man so like when he told me to get like that much i, I just I, I just unsub to him man. i'll be honest with you yeah I, 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 <laughs> i'm not watching that shit but bro. what the fuck do you mean you you, you don't build speed but what do you build bro like anything damage. else, like crit, rate, crit damage. Yeah, crit damage, man. Like what, damage, on your support? Crit damage. Big your number. Brother? Don't care. Oh, no, I mean, shit. I don't even remember. I haven't built my units in a long time, but you know, I'm not, I, I'm just not trusting Mister Pokey. I would go, I'll go to like Brax or something. Yeah, I heard that guy was creepy as fuck though. So. Oh yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to like. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. could probably yeah. stay away from him. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Never <laughs> met the guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't want him in my photos, dude. Like. Yeah, I know, uh, man. Uh, all right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. So I had a conversation earlier, and I got called out by Tech Town, or sorry, other Tech Town. Uh, you guys know I'm Legion's <laughs> Gaming. Um, and we were talking about the strongest characters in game versus the strongest characters in lore. I don't know if you guys are big lore, lore dorks in here, but uh, I, I dabble with the lore of Honkai Star Rail quite a bit, and uh, mm. I enjoy it. Now, I don't know anything about Honkai Impact 3rd, but I am curious who you guys think is the strongest character in lore and why. And I want to start off with you, Ebi Macha. In Star Rail or what? And in, in, any, in any of the Honkai games, who do you think the strongest character is in any, oh, oh. Sorry, in any of the Hoyo games? In any of the Hoyo games, who do you think is the strongest in lore? Listen, I can't answer that because I haven't played Haga in back third. Uh, That's okay. But I think I'm pretty sure it's Walt because I did dabble in his lore. And um, I'm pretty sure it's him because he like spawns a black hole. And then it's like, I don't know, he's, you know, just looking at his animation, like, yeah, he looks pretty OP in lore. In not my Welt, though, in the game, my Welt is like not strong, man. He's level 70. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's over here actually using his cane, okay? <laughs> but lore wise, yeah, I think Welt. I think Welt is uh, the strongest one, probably. I, I see, that's what I thought <laughs> as well, right? But then uh, Tectone comes out of nowhere. And just start saying some bullshit how like, nah, that's not what Welt does. His black hole doesn't work like other black holes. It's different. And all the powers he had, well, he's in a weakened state, so he can't do that anymore. So I don't know, man. I mean, I still think Welt is fucking insane, but yeah, apparently Tecton, that was Oofy. No, it was Tecton, Legion's Gaming on YouTube. But yeah, I, I don't really get all these welt deniers. And uh, he made a 12 minute video on why I was wrong, but I'll be real, I ain't gonna watch all that shit. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, what up, man? Wait, oh, oh, video. Wait, so that's dedication. Spoilers are okay, right? Like, if you haven't Absolutely. done the Honkai yeah. Star. Okay, yeah. didn't Acheron say that she fucking killed Welt in many different universes or something like that? Did I, did I read that wrong? Uh, I think you read that wrong. That was not said. That was it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, I just rushed through it because I had things to do. But yeah, I, I Bro, like the why logo. Why would you I rush through that shit? Man. Oh, no, no, I didn't rush it. I didn't rush it. I meant like, I didn't think about it. You know, I was just kind of like, did she just say she killed many different versions of him? Like, I don't know, dude. She, uh, she, said, she killed she, she, she killed, killed, she killed Kevin Caslada. Wasn't oh. she like talking about how like the re remembrance versions or whatever, like different iterations of like the the rem remember sphere or whatever they call it? Yeah, oh, the remember okay. sphere. <laughs> Yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Bad with names. I called Sing Ch uh, Sing Cho like Sing Chu for like a year and a half. Yeah, you do say every character's name completely fucking wrong, man. You got to work on that, bro. When I did <laughs> I that, did I was too. called racist. Really? Yes, very racist. <laughs> you uh, mispronounce any Akron. name, instant instant giga racist. Uh, but yeah, wow. Does anybody have any other takes for who they think is the strongest character in all of uh, Hoyverse? Uh, I, I think Hook, because who gonna hurt Hook? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't. I would. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. Pressure <laughs> of the void. He hates kids. Wait, That's did crazy. you just say you'd, you'd, you'd beat kids? I didn't say uh, that. No. Box said that. That was not me. I didn't box. say that. I didn't. Well, I'm a kid, too. Well, he's so technically I'm, I'm a kid. kid. Yeah, I'm still. I'm still uh, They're just recess. 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Once I hit 20, then I can't say that. But I, I'm chill for now. You know, I got that card. Holy You're boy. You're not 20? What? The, oh, the, I thought 18 is the adult. The, the beat. You have the beat children card? <laughs> Wait, when do you use that? I didn't, yeah, I didn't say that, bro. I didn't say that. I didn't Wait. say that, bro. Oh, uh, okay. That. You literally putting words in my mouth. You were putting words in my mouth. Anyways, <laughs> exact same thing you do with envy, bro. I'm sorry. All right, move on. <laughs> okay, yeah, Mark. <laughs> Mark, so, uh, who do you think is the strongest character in uh, Hell Universe? It's Akron, bro. How? What do you mean, how? Like, she literally, bro. Good. Remember when Welt was about to do something to Aventurine and then she just literally stopped time and one shot him himself? Like, come on. Well, I don't think like, she stopped time. I just think she moved really fast to where it appeared the time was stopped. What the fuck? <laughs> All you right. know what I'm saying? But, no, but like, yeah. if, if she could do that, then she could like just blitz Walt, uh, well, like break his cane or something, break his old man back, and then, uh, yeah, but if, I don't know. But if, but if Walt dies, he can just reassemble himself. Oh, shit. Fuck, I forgot about that. True. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And then he, <laughs> he just- spawns in another timeline. Yeah, then just black hole. <laughs> gravitational there's no way there's no way that that black hole thing is legit man like can he, he just like actually just manifest a fucking black hole like out of nowhere like uh, a, a, you know what's crazy? i have no fucking idea but i love talking about Walt as if he's like this completely <laughs> op god that can never <laughs> die always win what, i'm like what, intentionally oh not god. looking up information that proves me wrong because i just want to believe he's like the gojo of this fucking verse <laughs> oh wait a minute oh, the, the former gojo not the current gojo Dude. of the manga yeah all right i got one yeah, the right. Hersher of the Void or the Heavenly Principles. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the Hersher of the Void is the is one of the characters from Honkai Impact of the Third that looks exactly like uh, Kiana, the character at the very start of Genshin, right? Oh yeah, sure. I think that's Kiana. That, yeah, yeah. So that's that's Kiana, right? But like, it, they, there's a whole lore thing on there in Honkai Impact that's weird about it. But like, yeah. they made a whole universe. Like, if the Heavenly Principles is the god of the Genshin universe, then you have the character that's the strongest in the Honkai universe. A strong character in the Honkai universe is so strong that they can be a god of the uh, Genshin universe. So, Honkai that rules Genshin. Yeah, but what if well, just black holes are? But that's her, <laughs> like she has powers like that too, though. So. Oh, wait, are you talking about the 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 Honkai Impact one or the Genshin one? But it's both though. If you look at the, the model, it's almost the same. Oh, didn't didn't uh the one in Honkai Impact third get slapped up by fucking Himiko and then she died or something and then no, Himiko died. Yeah, she, she died, <laughs> oh, but she took him down with him, right? Spoilies on Himiko? It was like five. No. <laughs> no. So what, what, had, <laughs> what had happened was is that Himiko was fighting Yana. And then uh, Himiko does all this crazy ass bullshit, and then could have sliced her in half, but she didn't. Shoved the sword into the ground and put this uh, needle injector into the back of her fucking neck that I think like she oh, suppressed her powers. If it wasn't Kiana, then it's somebody who looked like fucking Kiana. I mean, I don't know. Maybe all these anime women just looked the fucking same these fucking days. But yeah, he took a needle from <laughs> uh, the back of her fucking neck and did some bullshit. And then uh, yeah, they never let her go. That was pretty I much feel like Akron and Welt super strong, but we haven't mentioned Pom Pom. I think Pom Pom kind of got a sleeper build. Low key. Going on. Oh, I okay. I have one. Okay, what's up, Ruby? Mm. It's the curse of Bailu. No one can be that. Yeah. Curse of Bailu. That's true. That one's pretty strong. I can tell you it's not, and it's definitely not Doctor Ratio. 
That's true. Dr. Ratio is so weak. It's insane. He's the worst character in the game. <laughs> worse than Arlen. Worse than Yankee. Sure, He's just I'm so sure. awful. I'm so oh curious, my God. Like, the, what, like, like, what got said? Uh, I mean, uh, generally, it's like it was some very, like, it was some very nothing shit that people blew the fuck up for fun. <laughs> It was yeah. uh yeah. I mean if you if you have a strong opinion on the internet, people are not gonna fucking like that, especially about gacha games. Because it wasn't the, even a strong opinion though. It was the it was such a it was <laughs> such an such opinion, a lukewarm an opinion, take. An opinion that could perceive could be perceived as being strong. That's there everything. Sure. <laughs> I know. A hundred percent. Uh but yeah. Uh I wanna go forward towards another game that uh, we haven't yet to talk about. And I want to circle back to 2.1 story later if you guys want to start thinking about that. But I do want to talk about Wuthering Ways, if you guys have any plans for it, if you have any concerns for it, because it's coming out next month. It's coming out very, very, very soon. And uh, I, I will be real. I believe, I believe, um, what's your name? Arla Chino's coming out in two weeks, I think. Yeah. So mm. Wuthering Waves will be releasing during prime dead Genshin Impact uh, time. And uh I am curious if you guys have any plans for Wuthering Waves. And I wanted to start off with all you guys. I want to start off with Box, and we're just going to go down, then right, then up and down. Box, do you have any plans for Wuthering Waves? Yeah, bro, uh, dude, I, I'm, I'm kind of scared to tell about Wuthering Waves because I feel like, in my opinion, y'all fuck out. I think the game sucks ass, man. Well, not okay. sucks ass, but um, sure. I think it's, 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 it's definitely overhyped. Like, when I was playing it, like, I, I, it's cool. You know, I like the ecosystem. I think it's really cool. Uh, combat's also kind of fun too, but I just, I don't know, man. Uh, something about it just, it, it didn't really click with me. I can't really explain it. But, I think every yeah. new gacha game is overhyped, but I think that's like normal. Like, I mean, God, you should have um, seen the shit that people were saying about Genshin, like the, the shit people were saying about Honkai Star One. Yeah, they're good games, but I mean, they weren't nearly as good as people were making them out to be. But uh, I want you to try to figure out what it is that you don't like. Because I feel like please, you can't. I want to know more. Yeah, you can't say you don't like some shit and then just not have a reason unless you're just All like, right, I think, fucking uh, racist. Yeah. <laughs> i can't be racist i'm chinese bro um but me too oh yeah i heard about that from dora yeah, like, yeah so i forgot about that right yeah, 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 yeah bro um yeah. but i think that uh the characters are probably one of the the biggest reasons for I, th I think they just look so bland because when i play a gacha game i i want to be like excited for the characters but they are just they just look they they fucking suck man so like, you um, would say across the board they all fucking suck not all, but like you know, there's some cool ones like that. That one uh, rate up character in the um the beta. What's her name? Like the one with like the the, the big titties. Yi That's Yin like Lin? all of them. Wait, what? Yingling, Jenjing. I think it's Ying. I think it's Yingling. Is that the one Yin, with um Yin with lightning powers, red hair, big boobs? Oh no, 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 no! I think uh, she sucks. Uh, yeah, Himiko X. -Kata. You're just wrong. Uh, you talking about the, the kung uh, no, fu girl? Dude. Yes, the kung fu girl, bro. Yeah, that, she's like the only character I wanted to pull, but so who do you, about, who do you like from Genshin and Honkai? Almost like everyone, to be honest. I think their designs look yeah, uh, like the best. Is this a, wait, is this a double scope question? Wait, hold on. Mom, you're trying to cast me? No, you like Hooker. All right, uh, her design, uh, okay, well, no. Mm, okay, she, so you don't like everybody. really boring, man. You like Chi-Chi? Oh Actually, yeah, God. I think she looks kind of cool, man. Like, she's a she's a zombie thing with, like, with, with like a cool hat. Like, okay. I think that's kind of cool, man. What are you about Nahida? Like, I'm sussing a pattern here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you said you like every pattern. character, so I'm just asking. No, not really. I think they're. Or I, I just don't like like stupid elf ears, man. They look. What do you, fucking, what do you think about Kafka? Like, you don't, I don't like, like elf Kafka, ears. Dude. You don't, no, you don't like, like Kafka, bro? What is that? What, what? Dude, like, dude. What? Holy shit! Wait. Okay, I take it back. I I, I love Kafka, man. She's awesome. I fucking eat six awesome, You better man. like her. How could you? Right? Oh, so you don't like Kafka, but you like Chi Chi. Dude, Kafka, dude, like, which, what's that thing she wears? Like, her, her pants, <laughs> they're so ugly, dude. It's like the Batman thing where he wears his underwear outside. It's just so <laughs> fucking bad. What? It's hot, And it goes bro. all the way what to her the waist. Fuck? Her it's not so cool. It looks like a big fucking I don't like him. Right? I don't like him. It, Who are you? Like I don't, I don't like him. <laughs> it looks like what? Yeah. It, dude, it, lo it literally, you know how, like, um, back then, like, uh, Superman would, like, wear his underwear outside? Like, it just looks like that. He's Zoomer. He's Zoomer. Wait, it's how? a girl wearing booty shorts with stockings, Bro, it's, man. It's yeah. a big diaper, is what Are it is. It's about, a big like, the fucking harnesses? diaper. Have you seen that what, what that called? looks like when a woman is wears it? that in real life? Oh, no. It, wait, do people actually wear <laughs> that in so real life? What's yes. it called? What's it called? <laughs> wait, what, what, what is it called? Uh, let me search it up. Is it just harness? I think he's thinking of the harnesses that are oh. dangling around her, maybe. The I'll, just, I'll just pull up the goddamn cosplayers, man. I mean, they look right. good oh, as fuck. you're right. Like bro, bro is bugging, man, for no fucking maybe, reason. Maybe maybe she's just thick in the trunk and like it just looks yeah. bigger. What like what what is wrong with this outfit, bro? It looks good as fuck. Can you see my screen box or no? All right, hold on one sec. It looks it's good as fuck. Mm-hmm. 
that cosplay looks really good. I know I can't see your screen. Wait, where is it? On my fucking stream, bro. Oh shit! All right, my bad. Um, <laughs> no, dude, it's like it's all the way up to her waist, dude. I don't know, man. It, it's, oh, it's so weird. It's oh, like one big diaper. Shorts? Huh? Yeah. See, I, I don't think... like that style either. When it comes when the, you, when girls you. wear things that go above the belly button, like they really, yeah, really yeah, yeah. You I don't like that, that either. Button? But but like, well, yeah, of course. But um, <laughs> it's I I don't hate on it. I understand the style. Yeah, okay. I kind of like the classical vibe. Okay, well, that's fine. All right. Well, do you have anything else you want to say about? Is that so? You just you don't like adult women or something or what? Yeah, at least like a sparkle. <laughs> yeah, at least like sparkle. God damn it, man! Yeah, hold on, bro. Yeah, I feel no, no. I, yeah, well, I just look. Okay, I, you know what? I, t I take all back. I think Wittering Waves is awesome. I love water characters. Let's go! I, don't <laughs> yeah, let's I will say, go, I man. will say, the fucking um, the plant girl looks around. so bad. Like they look so fucking bad. Oh, I thought I pulled her and I stopped playing after that. Dude, like, that that's bad. what I did too, man. It's so bad, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, There's only like three characters in the radio. Sorry, guys. Yeah, nah, you're all good. But uh, yeah, I feel like characters like Calcharo, whose name should have just stayed as Kakarot, uh, looks incredible. Like I, I, I feel like I feel like you'll like it a lot more when it comes out. Box, obviously, I'm fucking with you a lot because I think it's funny because mm -hmm. you get good reactions. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think you'll like it a lot. And you should play it on release. You really should. I don't want to see you pigeonhole yourself and only hold your worst games. You should no, just, I, you should play more. Yeah. I probably will. I just um, right now it's not not the most optimistic. But at least yeah, play for a week or two. You know, on launch mm -hmm. for sure. Cool. Yeah, because I need you to be in my guild if they have a guild system. Oh, that'd be so cool. If they don't have a guild system, that's so troll. Yeah. Well, there's I mean, no way. They, they, well, there is a way. They probably just won't have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a way. Yeah. Really just don't yo, have yo, it. yo, coach. What are you playing for? Wuthering waves. What do you think about um, it? I'm I'm stoked on it. I will say I didn't get to play the beta, so I haven't had any like hands-on experience. I've just been an observer, but I've already posted like some Weathering Waves content on my YouTube, probably like five videos so far. They haven't been doing as good as like the Star Rail ones, so that's a little unfortunate. But I am so hyped for the game to it, actually. It should come be out. it should be expected. And all those videos yeah. that you're posting for Weathering Waves, uh, they'll get a second wave of interaction once the game releases. So you'll have one burst as you release to your subscribers, and then you'll have another burst for uh, residual viewers coming into the game who want to overconsume the content for the first month or two of launch. So I wouldn't really worry about the viewer count there. I just think it's more important to uh, have a content library for uh, what's going on for Wuthering Waves right now. Yeah, I just reacted to like the most recent version of the all characters, like ultimates, animations, and everything, and yeah. some of them look super sick. I will say yeah. some of them I agree with Box. Some of them like aren't there for me but there's at least a good like five six of them where i was like whoa like this dude this chick is cool like i gotta find out more about this character yeah absolutely i mean i'm not sure if you guys have seen Pun punishing gray raven but like some of their designs for the characters are just so fucking nice so i'm really not worried about it uh right now i mean i feel like these characters are the standard characters for a reason and then i think we'll get even more hype releases uh, down the road i mean for example i, I love jen jing I love Yin Lin so much. Like Yin Lin's probably one of my favorites right now because her animation is so fucking beautiful. But yeah, but is there anything that you that you think just fucking sucks about the game? Me? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've only been able to to watch it, like I said. So yeah. not from what I've seen, and I haven't got my hands on it. But the combat looks like it feels good, and I feel like that's one of the most important things. It's like how the combat feels and how the story is. So yeah. Do you... the combat looks like it feels good, and I heard that they changed like ninety percent of the story because they weren't happy with it. So hopefully yeah. the story's good too. Uh, it, it's better. It's better. Do Do you enjoy only watching? Uh, I'd I'd rather play it. Okay. But but at the same time, I am kind of stoked that my first experience is gonna be when it's actually live i don't know it's like a double-edged sword you know like i wish i was in the beta but at the same time i'm trying to cope myself into being like no it's better this way yeah okay i get that yo ruby <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts on mothering waves ruby oh uh, i i like the characters designs i think the names for them are kind of hard to remember I, dude oh my god yes it's <laughs> I, actually so I bad i feel bad to say that because like as an american it's you know like skill issue i guess but the names are a little bit hard to remember so I find that a lot of people tend to reference other gacha games. So like Adult Shao instead of Jiyan, you know? Yeah, um, no, I, I agree. And I, I don't really think that's an American skill issue because almost every popular, well, no, there's a, every popular gacha game has more Americanized uh, names like Kafka, you know, names that can be un easily understood in almost every single fucking language. 
Uh, but yeah, Jin yeah. Jing and Yin Ling and Yang Ling, like it's like very hard to understand who is who, and a lot of the names True. do blend together. I agree. But it's that... nice for a culture. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sure, uh, sure. Do you think that the characters are forgettable, be um, in general, because they're not that exciting, and you don't not because their names are harder, but do you think they're more forgettable? They're actually memorable in terms of design and combat for me. Really? Okay, good. Yeah. yeah so like. I... Go ahead, Rudy. No, you can go first. No, you go. I'm being a dick. Oh, no, no. I was going to say, like, the combat. Each character has such unique animation and style. So, like, I didn't get to play Yinlin because um, I kept getting Ling Yang. And, but, like, seeing Yinlin's animation, like, the booba, you know, the window and everything, it's, it's easier to remember. It's so good. Dude, have you, have you seen the updated version of that all? Mm-mm. So they increased the, uh, the sound effects quality and they added in, like, a creepy laugh in the background. Of her doing that and oh my god it looks so fucking good now there's actually uh, other people are underneath contracts so they can't talk about it but there's actually another private server going on right now that a lot of creators are testing that uh you know obviously have been forced into an nda uh but uh yeah the game has been revamped quite a bit and i think people are going to be very happy with the version that comes out on launch because it is a drastic improvement from anything that we've seen so far i do believe there's going to be one more closed beta before launch so that's probably going to happen very 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 soon but uh yeah, I think the majority of that's going to be for testing localization. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, pretty much every single concern that people have for Wuthering Waves um, is being addressed. And that's the reason why I'm personally excited for Wuthering Waves. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people are saying how it is right now. I'm not re- worried about how it is right now. I'm worried about how... I- I'm excited for what it can be. Because the developers have been so straightforward and honest and with the community every step of the way for creating this game, it makes me excited to where, like, if we do want something more, we'll probably get that. Because they're listening to fucking everything. They're not doing this fucking weird-ass thing with the old Genshin dev- developer radio where they would just make things up that nobody was asking for and then say, we're listening, guys. We hear you. Literally just was not fucking happening. But, uh, yeah, they're oh, asking- see, wait. Yeah, yeah sorry. I, you're talking about like the... I remember seeing one about the teapot changes. That shit was pissing me off, bro. I yeah. don't know if you remember that. <laughs> yeah, that shit was insane, man. No, yeah. I mean, they, they would make things up that nobody were asking for and then they would implement them. And But like act like they was like the saving grace. I'm like, good God. I mean, how out of touch you have to be to put fucking three chicken pieces for your login reward like holy fuck that shit drove me fucking nuts i was looking forward to that personally yeah but it, it yeah, i know <laughs> but, but it, it is very frustrating to play a game where it's like how do we all get that this needs to change and you don't like the, the, the fact that artifact loadouts still don't exist uh just fucking blows uh but yeah second what do you think about weathering waves i'm expecting that you don't like it am i wrong why would you think i don't like it for stuff i think you like genshin a whole bunch I like games. Like you do like games. gameplay. I okay. like games that have gameplay. So like I was watching um I, I watched a lot of the beta footage. I watched your videos, I watched uh I think Brax's videos, Tanha's videos, I watched like everybody's videos. And I was doing like about two and a half weeks of reacting to Wuo content. Yeah. And so far, I uh I really am hopeful for the game, but I'm also reluctant to invest my emotions into it. Because I see a lot of big red flags in the game that lead me to believe the game is not going to be super successful for in comparison to you know the the thing that it will be compared to like Genshin and Saro. Yeah, I think the biggest but, red flag that Wuthering Waves has is that it's not made by Hoyoverse. So people aren't gonna care. N- no. Um so <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah. have they have a lot of red flags for me because like yeah. they're trying to reach multiple different communities and they're trying to please everyone. So your point That's on like fair. them they're them wanting to please the community and listen to everybody. I understand and I totally think they should do, but I'm not sure who they are trying to. I think you had a podcast like a month then ago, a month and a half ago or, or two months ago with like Gotcha Smack Pokey and a couple other people. Um, and one of the things that was brought up that was really interesting was that they are in the middle of an identity crisis and they're not sure who they want to uh, cater to the casual player base or potentially the hardcore player base. So for me, I'm a little reluctant to invest a lot emotionally into the game because I've seen them really cater to the hardcore player base and people that really like a gaming experience. For me, that's awesome. But yeah. for as a content creator, I see a big failing there because if you don't cater toward a casual player base, then what's going to happen? Also, is my mic okay now? You're great. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree. I think World of Warcraft had a similar issue to where they couldn't tell who they wanted to cater towards. I mean, I, I do think it is more important to cater to casuals these days, but the problem is when people over-cater to casuals, they just completely forget about the hardcore players. I, I think Wuthering Waves is 
pushing because I think there's a big misconception. I think people are thinking of Wuthering Waves is a lot more hardcore than it actually is because the majority of the content in the game is very fucking casual. But they do have nicer modes where hardcore players can really sink their teeth into it. But uh, it's very little, but it is there. And uh, a lot of the changes they made in the most recent developer radio is is a lot more focused towards casual. So I do think it is more so for casual, me personally. Uh, but the problem is, is that due to Genshin having the big, like, zero hardcore, because there is even any semblance of hardcore, people are blowing that up and saying, it's only hardcore! Only hard gamers can play this! And I just mm -hmm. don't think that that's true. But uh, we'll have to see how it is on launch because well, I, I've only had about 12 hours of the beta, but then other than that, I've watched like every single Wuthering Waves video there is on the platform. But uh, who knows if any content creators are misrepresenting what is or what isn't in the game. The only thing that I do know is that uh, I feel like the, the live streams the developers have put out have been very good. And uh, I, I enjoy the character designs and the, uh, the quality of the uh, sound effects that they've been uh, adding to the game. Do you have any more thoughts on that second right now? Um... I wanted to ask like broad question on this one, if that's okay. Um, when it comes to weathering waves, what is a, a big positive of the game that you guys all feel will make people extremely excited to log in every day to play it? I'll go first. Uh, so the thing that I think is great for weathering waves that I think what it does that Genshin does not do. And I am, it, we can pretend. It is, it is a game that is meant to be comp competition for Genshin Impact. It is. Okay? Mm -hmm. that is it is direct competition, absolutely. Um, it gives players a reason to want to explore the game. Because uh, for Genshin, one thing that I always wanted is whenever you kill a mob in the overworld, you get like a mini hill of churl, like as a pet that'll follow you around. Uh, I don't really think there's any reason to explore the world once you've already explored it in Genshin, like kind of like a one-and-done thing, and then you just TP around. But I feel like for Wuthering Waves, I think what really separates it is for those exploration players, they're going to be able to shiny hunt for monsters around the world and still get excited for exploring places they've already been to. So I think it'll make the game feel a lot more alive uh, than, uh, you know, it's competition. So that's, I think the shiny hunting is actually going to be huge. Mm. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. I know I love shiny hunting in Power World. That was a huge pastime of mine. That was fun. Yeah, but it was so easy. They, there's mm -hmm. just so many of them. It didn't feel as special anymore. Yeah. As a Pokemon sure. player, I am excited for shiny hunting. As a past yeah. Pokemon player, it's really cool. Well, what, okay, I, as someone who doesn't know too much about the shiny thing, because the only shiny reference I have is a holographic from original Pokemon. Yeah. So <laughs> boomer here, by the way. Yeah. So is there any real difference between that and the original version? For what? For for Wuthering Waves? Yeah, no, like, no, just a, a shiny version pet. Is there any difference between, no, like, no, in Pokemon no. or anything? The, the way Pretty that it's going to work... The way that it's going to work, okay, so there is a difference. So I guess for Pokemon, if you were to get a shiny Pokemon and it didn't have good EVs, IVs, then it was just fucking useless. Uh, mm -hmm. Wuthering Waves have already circumvented that issue, and now if you see the shiny and you capture the shiny, every monster that you, it's like unlocking, you unlock a skin for that creature when you use them. I see. Oh, that's oh, so that's cool. So cool. Yeah. Ooh, so I thought way, I was going to go far for the good, best shiny, and if I yeah. got the ass one... Yeah, oh, so fun. as long as you have a good one, you can use that shiny skin. That's cool. I think oh, that's, that's so awesome. Nice. That's I yeah. love that. So you yeah. only have to get one copy of one shiny, and then it'll port to whatever character you want? or whatever. Uh, no, you have to get one shiny of that character, and then that character will be shiny. That little echo will be shiny. Mm. So you have to get oh one shiny variant of every single echo in the entire game. Like hundreds. Oh, okay. So that was really mm. nice. okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm but, more excited now. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. super cool. Yeah. yeah. And then each new patch is going to okay. release new characters. Each new character is going to have new shinies, all that shit. What's up, Sega? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so for the guys who said that power was too easy to get that and it feel special, would, do you think that that may happen with this new amazing system in this game? I don't the know. Death I, notes? I, oh, sorry. Hmm. You go first. Oh, I was going to say, I never got to play beta or anything. I've just been watching. So I don't know. I have Same. no idea. Oh, I'm just excited. Death notes? mentioned that they were going to make echo farming easier and yeah. i wanted to ask if that was like a red flag for you uh yeah Sika. that was a huge red flag um we i was looking i think it was on uh i don't remember who was whose stream was but uh there was a, a table that was posted for the game and it showed the breakdown of what it would be to get like each of the really hard to get relics and the amount of farm that would take and um you know how annoying it is to get speed relics in star rail it yes, was like, oh. it was way worse than that. I was like, oh my mm. God. So um, I'm glad that they changed and, the ratios. Yeah, you saw the optimizations. Yeah the, yeah, the 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 relics and before the optimizations were fucking 
terrible. Uh, for you guys who don't know, there was like you could like get speed for, for hypothetical sake. It was like if you rolled speed, you get a low low roll, a mid low roll, a high low roll, a low mid roll, mid mid roll, high mid roll, low high roll, mid high roll. Are you casting roll, a, high, high a curse on me right now? I Holy know, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and so like you could roll instead of being like two to four speed on a relic, you could roll between like one and ten. Jesus. So it was like what right. the fuck? The variance was absolutely ludicrous. Uh, I think there was like modifiers. Some, some had needed. eight, some to like twelve or something like that. Different modifiers. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, I had to modify that shit. Yo, Laura, how do you feel about weathering waves? Oh, I feel great. I think go back to the second thing about like with the shinies and shit. Yeah, I sure. think they have to make it incre- if, if they if they do it like a skin for everyone forever and you're one and done. Yeah, I think they need to make it really rare to make it feel special. Because then once you complete all of it, it's like sort of empty. I, I think it should take a little bit to complete, but I, I think, think I Blood, sweat, I would be okay home. if collecting every shiny in base game mm. took players around twelve weeks to do. I I'd think be that's okay with that. Fair. Yeah, and then after unfair. every new patch with new mobs, it took players two weeks on average to find the other shinies. Because uh, I will agree. Hours daily though. How many hours daily with the oh, two weeks? Probably over two weeks. Probably about four hours. I would be okay with mm. that personally. Uh, wow. I, but I do agree. Like, once everybody's special, nobody is. It's a great fucking yeah. line from Incredibles. Right. Like, I, I definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Syndrome. Yeah, Syndrome. I, he was so sick. No, he wasn't. He sucked ass, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope there's some, out. like, top ends that are just, like, stupidly difficult to find. Yeah. Like, some Did, super rare stuff. Like, I, I want to brag about it for a little bit. Like, if I get Did, someone cool at the start of the game, I want to be like, yo, yeah. just got this awesome shiny. Yeah. Do you guys remember Temtem? Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, I was that gonna was say the new Pokemon game, right? Yeah, when mm -hmm. it first came yeah. out, to find a shiny was like a one out of ten, uh, ten thousand chance or something. And then I found this really cool, rare, uh, sweet or sweet. I forgot what it's called. It's like the Dragon Water thing. And then yeah. they nerfed it to one out of eight thousand chance. And I'm like, bro, like, what the heck? It was so cool. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they made it really hard, and they give you like three really good stats if you catch shinies. When we were talking about stats and stuff, I was like, oh, Temtem did that. Like, if you find a shiny, you get three guaranteed perfect stats, and then you know the other sounds, three is RNG. You know what sounds fucking disgusting? Wuthering Waves comes out 1999. Increase your shiny hunting odds for two hours. Oh. <laughs> Find more rare, no. rare no. shinies around. That you. would be, <laughs> that yeah. would be I, fucking miserable, dude. Or you get the battle pass. I also I kind ask. of hope that they okay. don't add all of these extra things because in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet they added all these things that you could do to increase your odds. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't really want that. I want it to be more special. It made it, it made it like it made it not as fun to get Chinese because it was like if I just roll around here for like an hour, I will get it. Yeah. 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 Well, so, I, I like mean, that. Th the nice thing is, I'd rather. Oh man, this is gonna sound like a better than nothing take, but I, but I will admit <laughs> like. I'm just glad there is a reason to at least explore a bit more than one time uh, being put into the game. game. Maybe they fuck it up. Maybe they nail it. I'm sure if we tell them, hey, man, this shit's kind of fucking cringe, they'll probably change it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be optimistic for a little bit. Uh, Emmy mm -hmm. Mach, is there anything you're looking forward to in Wuthering Waves? How do you feel about it? I haven't played it either. Um, I haven't been in the beta, so I have no clue. But everything that I'm seeing is from other content creators, too uh i don't know i don't i don't have any thoughts about it i'm excited because i just like the character designs i'm i'm being honest i don't know much about it why? but i like like the i want to know why one. why have you not looked into it i did look into it but like i haven't dove really deep into it because i've been hearing like a lot of mixed reviews i'm just like okay i'll just keep it like i'll just play it and then i'll see how i feel about it like i'll definitely cover it but i don't know if like, I don't want to be too invested, just like how, like, you know, Seca Poco said. Like, I just don't want to. Seca's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to, like, be too invested in the game, um, just in case, like, I get, to, you know, depressed about it. Um, but, yeah, no, I do. I watched, like, the recent trailer. Um, I reacted to that as well. And then it was, like, really, really, like, the, the design of the characters look really good. I have saw some Punish and Grey Raven stuff as well, too. But, so the developers... Um, what they were doing before, and I hear a lot of good stuff from them, so I'm just more excited about how, yeah, what it could be. But yeah, I yeah. don't really have much thoughts other than just that, because the character designs that already look so sick. The fact that you can, like, there's guns in there too? Okay, sorry, there's, like, mm -hmm. characters that have guns in there, and then they can, like, float as they're shooting. 
Like that's that's pretty dope to me. Okay, that's yeah. just I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, more guns. Has, yep. Yeah, that has more that hasn't guns, been in, like, more better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't let's say go. That. Let's go. Damn, I guess I'm I'm uh, I'm here for guns, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, no, it's just a lot of unique things I see that they're trying to do that is they're trying to, you know, differentiate themselves away from Genshin. I'm not going to be compared to them. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking forward to this, the, the character developments and like the how they're going to um, do the fights because I'm just excited for that part. I think <laughs> every creator should give Wuthering Waves at least a month of their attention uh mm. genuinely like maybe give it like two hours of stream a day make it like build it in a little bit maybe post a video about it once every two or three days uh i think the game's gonna be good but here's here's my reality because like a lot of people only cover games if they're good uh i don't do that mm. uh if the game's good then i play it and i enjoy it and if the game's bad then i get to play it and make fun of it Right. So like I really feel that it's 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 really not I feel like no matter what, it's a universal win because it's more content for everybody no matter what. And uh, I, I really do think that every gacha creator should cover weathering waves because you know competition is good. And if we want more uh, more better changes in our other gacha games, maybe we give weathering waves uh you know a, a fair shake. I think it's a great idea. If you're not looking forward to weathering waves, uh Emmy, do you prefer Emmy or Matcha or Emmy Matcha? Oh, it doesn't matter. Emmy's fine. Okay. I just know so many fucking Emmys, man. I know I, you can do Emmy matcha, then it's okay, easy. Okay, I'll do I'll do, do matcha because I work with like fucking three Emmys in my fucking area. Um, <laughs> is there any game that you are looking forward to in the near future? Just Azure Pamelia, I think not, that one. Not okay. Zelda Zone Zero. I'm no, Say it. no. <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't, I wasn't in that thing okay. either. But to me, when I was watching people's streams, it wasn't too appealing. Like at least Wuwa, mm -hmm. I was kind of like, oh, that's pretty sick, right? And I was watching, you know, people go around and do their thing. Like that, at least there was some kind of gameplay. But when I was watching Zen and Stone Zero, I there was nothing for me to watch. Um, yes, I didn't want to. You know, you know, I'll just say it. But yeah, it's just I, I, yeah. I'll see what MiHoYo does. I'll see what they do. I'll give that a chance to. Like I'm like you. I actually play every game just. And cover it and if i don't like it i'll just be like whatever like it is yeah. what it is yeah um but i mean i i don't want to like to also hope too much from all these like creators or all these developers um sure because i don't i don't know man i don't i have trust issues yeah, that's fine i, get I came it. from like okay. maple story so like you guys talked about the modifiers earlier i just had flashbacks about how <laughs> i had low ass rolls when i like you know honed a weapon it was like i was like oh no like this is all this all over again like i hope this doesn't happen in wuwa because i didn't want to deal with that i spent like hours and hours like weeks just farming one map for one epic pet back then yeah. Because I did oh like my. if you got one epic pet, it basically um gives you like uh, bonus stats, right? And then that epic pet though could like have random ass stat rolls. So you guys talking about this, I was like, oh no, please, like please, I don't want to deal with that again. <laughs> That's kind is of it... what the ecosystem is. It's yeah, like RNG. But then you guys said like it was going to be um yeah, it's like, more like static. Balance. It's not yeah. randomized stats, so that's like a lot easier. But back then, it was like months and months of you just grinding the same map over and over again, and you're not just competing against like yourself. You're competing against like everybody in the server. So everyone's yeah. just running around looking for this one pet. Yeah, is there it was, anything it was that Wuthering Waves? Is there anything that Wuthering Waves should do to grab your attention? Then I want to go to Second Poco's point because I know he wanted to say something. But uh, yeah, is there is there anything oh, about Wuthering Waves that could get your attention? No, no, don't get me wrong. It already grabbed my attention because when I saw the trailer with that, uh, I don't know what her name is, but the Jen one Jen. with the the one that spawns like a dragon, like a white thingy. White black Baiji? dragon? Baiji. I, I think so, maybe. She's and a then, healer. Oh, yeah, girl, oh yeah, that bitch. Female, yeah, she's cool. The, the big, big old titties and the, the smiley out there. She's yeah. hot. <laughs> I, when I saw her, I was like, yeah. holy, I'm pulling for her. I don't know what she does. I don't care if she's bad. I don't care what tier list she's on. I'm pulling. And then when, um, okay, I'm going to say like adult Shao came down to you. I Dion? love that man. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the other one that looks like uh, Seth Roth. I don't know his name. The white hair. Seth Roth. Uh, previously yes. known as Kakarot, now currently oh, known as Kalchara. Okay, that's a horrible uh -huh. name. I know! Yeah. Kakarot was insane! But it's fine, whatever. Do, do, we, okay, do but, we all uh, know who Kakarot is? Just want to make sure we all, we're all... No, I've yes. never heard that so name. Ever. Hot. Ever. He is. But he's, so a, he's that Sephiroth looking dude, right? 
Well, he's yeah. Goku, but yeah, anyways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a Sephiroth looking guy. Sephiroth mixed with uh, uh, Joe Taro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, I think he looks stupid. <laughs> with the name of Goku. You're so Damn. stupid, bro. I mean, you make me so angry, <laughs> Bach, for no I so know you're good. farming. You're farming one million percent. I'm not even far I'm you not even farming. You are farming so looks... hard. There's no way you think I'm that. There's not no farming. way. <laughs> I genuinely look. On on my own life, bro. I swear to God, I think this guy's fucking. I think he looks stupid as fuck. Right? We, we, we go on, though, bro. Okay, I'll trust. Yeah. You. All right. Okay, I'll trust. You. Yo, wait, box. You play Fortnite? What the fuck? No, nah, dude, that game is hella hard, bro. <laughs> the building is hella hard, man. What game? What Jesus games you Christ. play off stream, box? I just that work on my videos, man. To be honest, um, that's it. You don't play nothing? Yeah, no, not really, bro. Uh, let me think. Yeah, that's it. No, nothing. He's gonna that's play League. League. I just League. like scroll TikTok. I feel like Valorant is like the Zoomer Riot game. Fuck that. Valorant oh, sucks so hard. Yeah, that shit is so good. That fucking shit is so ass. Like, as, <laughs> as the I'm 2020, way too long. No, thanks. As the 2023 OTK Valorant champion, like, I think I have the grounds to say that that game is fucking ass. Okay? I was I, in the beta for Valorant. Well, I went into the game completely new. I dominated the competitive scene in the less span of less than 24 hours. I got a championship belt and $20,000, and I fucking left. The game is Damn. ass. Gotcha, dub. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw one too. He looks uh, lying. Sorry. Okay. So my chat's saying I'm lying. So I, give me, give me two minutes. I'll be right back while you guys talk about whatever you want. There's no fucking way, dude. There's oh, no he's going way. to get the fucking belt. Oh yeah. yeah he's <laughs> he actually, he actually has it. No, he fuck? literally. Is he still running out the. Yeah. Is, is he you should have hit it, Laura. You should have hit it. You should have hit it. Oh yeah, he's going out to the car right now. I can hear. Oh him. my god. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he keeps it in the, the car. Bag. It's in the car, so he can grab it at any time and just put it over his shoulder. <laughs> oh I, my I god. Fucking can't. No, he didn't. Oh my Bro, god. Bro, he's so humble. He's, Wait, so he? <laughs> he's known for it, how modest he is. <laughs> what is he leaving his car to like scare people off from like breaking in? Well, so he can leave with his outfit and just slap it over his shoulder, just whenever he wants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like at the gas station, he's pumping gas like boop. <laughs> Bro, on the gas station is crazy, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, who's he Gotta flexing flex. that to? Who's he flexing that to, though? Bro, what the fuck? I don't know, bro. I don't oh know. Oh, my man. God. I have no idea. It still does look pretty cool, though. It's pretty good, yeah. bro. You ever just borrow it and pretend like that's yours? Or does it have his name on it? It's got his name on it. Oh, oh shit, Well, just, just flip it. Was, <laughs> I'll just, like, Sharpie LaRoe on there. Oh, no. Oh, you should, dude. You should. Yeah. How much wait, how, how much PayPal to do Make that? Make sure it's oh, washable. Shit, back. <laughs> What's the PayPal? Oh my god, look, it's over his shoulder. Oh, oh shit. yeah, baby, let's go. Yeah, those are some drippy shorts. That shit looks hella fake. So yeah, I was told <laughs> I was lying about uh, being the 2023 Valorant OTK champion. I'm gonna make sure we Great all belt. see this shit, okay? Because I fucking obliterated this fucking tournament. A little bit of lore uh, for this championship belt. It was a $100,000 tournament. And uh, I was invited to it and I totally forgot about it. Never practiced, never did a tutorial. When we were beginning the tutorial on, or when we were beginning the tournament on stream, I was doing the tutorial live to my stream. And my team still won the whole goddamn tournament. <laughs> we fucking obliterated that shit, bro. It wasn't even close. Uh, who are you playing? Like, uh, what character? Or Asian? Uh, the bitch who made the wall. Sage? Oh, oh, Sage. Sage. You were Sage. Sage. You were support Sage? Oh yeah, my god. Who was your Sage. jet? Who was your jet daddy? I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> no, I, and what's crazy is, what's crazy is, my She's teammates... saying you got carried. No, 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 yeah. no. No! No, I owned, I owned, I owned. Uh, <laughs> uh, saying you were the, the bottom, cabins, really. Fact, out of all the cabins, I did the best, fun fact. Um, uh, he must out of all my teammates, everyone else chose their teammates. The four teammates I got, nobody else wanted. So I said, eh, hey, fuck it. Oh. Let's just play, I guess. We fucking rolled them. Was not even close? The only person who got close to beating us was uh, Tuano and uh, Saikuno. They were on the same team. I don't know if you guys you play know that. Valorant, exactly like me, Tech. I just ran shotguns the whole time. Yep. I, all I ever played <laughs> shotguns in Valorant. Yep. It was insane. It was good. They, they called me the Great Wall. I have an emo for that day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That's great. Come on. The great hey, winners wall. win. Yeah. Didn't know about I, I, those I did, man. Tay, you can say whatever the fuck you want. Last time I checked, I got the most kills of any captain with the least experience. And there's $20,000 in my bank account and my teammates bank account and there ain't nothing in anybody else's So what the fuck y'all being spamming lime meter for for no reason anyways great no, great wall never falls so, uh, so you mentioned fortnite earlier um uh yeah. why, why don't we uh, see if grandpa poco can beat you in uh, fortnite well okay first of all, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I, i'm just trying to find a way to have a play a game with box because bro just he doesn't do shit, bro you know i like this guy he won't play no games with me you know i mean it's just wrong. I mean, I'm just I play, trying to find a game to play with my son. 
Damn, bro. I mean, I play games. I just, uh, uh, I, I just don't play like too much anymore because I'm, I'm more focused on making like uh, videos and just like streaming and all that. But you I do play. Like I just have to. What? Yeah, I'm like no, 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 because that's just not how it is. Okay, and I know this because I've been doing content creation for since before you were born, Sonny. Here's the thing: if you are doing content for more than eight hours a day, you are doing something fucking wrong at your size. You should you should be able to have a social life box. You should. Okay, there's no right, sign right. you're working from the moment you wake up till when you pass out. There's just that's just not real. Right, I just, maybe, I, maybe, yeah, maybe I sit in bed a lot and play gotcha games, but yeah. Okay, and what oh. gotcha games you playing? Let me see. Uh, I play Dokkan. Um, I got. Will you play Dokkan? Oh wow. yeah. Man. Wait, do you watch Diddy? Do you watch Diddy Sauce? Wait, I know who Diddy is. Yeah, yeah, I know who Diddy is. You should meet do, him. Do you like Nano right now or no? Oh, dude, yeah. Oh, what the? F yeah, I, I watch uh, mainly uh, Truth, but yeah, Nano, um, Diddy as well. You just all play Dokkan? What the fuck? Or you, you both play? Well, I'm, no, I'm, I'm so old that I, me and Nano have hung out and I've trolled it. Damn, you same, three? same. Me and Nano, we did karaoke the other day with uh, Diddy. It was good. Dokkan nice. tubers, oh, Dokkan tubers are dope as fuck. They're really, really, really good people. Yeah, Truth yeah, is no. cool too. <clears throat> you yeah, met Truth too? I haven't met him. I haven't met him yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, okay. I've just been around so long that everyone knows me there. So they're like, so Damn, I wanted bro. to go forward and just keep on being on the trip. Before we can mm -hmm. go, we can waffle a bit later. Uh, Hex, <laughs> are you excited for Weathering Waves? Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Um, it, it looks really cool. I do. I'm, I mean, really, I'm kind of just excited for uh, Genshin, but a little bit more difficult, a little bit more in-depth, uh, more to do. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you worried about anything mm -hmm. or no? Um, I'm worried that the color palette and some of the character designs are not appealing enough to, uh, zoomers who like big, nice colors that activate neurons. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Um, Agreed. Uh, yeah. And, and I think that the art style is, is cool. And I think it's nice that it's unique, but I worry about like people who like people who got into Genshin, I think it was easy because it was open world and it was pretty familiar because it looked very colorful and it was very Zelda y, like visually for Genshin. Uh, like it was an uh, easy sell on a lot of levels. It was also the COVID stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think having an unfamiliar art style can sometimes make it hard to get into. And I think the art style is not nearly as like neuron activate pretty color. And I don't mind it too much, but I think that uh, it can be a problem if they're trying to not have a really niche audience. Yeah, I mean, I I totally get that take 100%. Um, I think at Genshin is another one where it's like, when everything's vibrant, you kind of just get used to the world being like that. With yeah. Weathering Waves, there is a lot of muted colors, but then there are some very saturated areas. So it depends if people are going to want saturated all the time or enjoy mm -hmm. the unsaturation into full saturation to where it kind of feels a little bit different and has its own identity. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, go ahead, Sega. So I have, a, I, I have a different point that it kind of agrees with Hex, but like uh, yeah. the pretty the pretty colored newer thing, I suffer from blind as fuck disease. So the, <laughs> yeah. the thing is when you're, when you have this contracted disease with, you know, a nice little uh, fix, you, you like bright games because they're easier to see the motions of the characters. Uh, mm -hmm. When you have darker games, they, the characters kind of, because the colors are so muted, the colors and movements blend together. I was going to say that uh, the first closed beta, it was really, really muted. It was rough. And so the second one, yeah, they added more color to it. Yeah, I've seen the, the new color. I think it is still pretty muted. And I guess my concern is like uh, when you're a VTuber and you have a weird model or like a, a unique model, you can sometimes have a harder time growing and mm -hmm. because it's not as familiar visually. And I think I still worry with it. I think it depends on the marketing of how they actually market the world because if you focus too much on the muted parts, I think people might not be as like excited. Mm. Yeah. No, I think I'm a, I'm a hummus with you. Um, I'm a huge fan of like color contrast. So I think having like mm -hmm. muted places with really bright, vibrant places, I think would be really cool. Yes. This is mm. definitely the biggest point of contention for the community right now is uh, mm -hmm. how the world looks. Um, I'm currently okay with it, but how will I feel two weeks into the game? Because, for example, mm. like games like Elden or uh, Skyrim, I really enjoyed, but the world is so peaceful and kind of muted that uh, I would just find myself falling asleep while I played it. Yeah. So, mm. like, um, there was like a week right when Genshin first came out, where I like I would wake up and like I I would just literally go to Leeway Harbor 
and let the music play as the sunrise came up. And I was like, this is so nice to wake up to. Oh, so dude. is there anything <laughs> like that in the game? I'm actually not mm. sure yet. I'm not sure. There's I, a part that's like on top of a rock with a chair. <laughs> Sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so awesome. So you know, when you talk about like the casual player base liking that, this, so I was just thinking like, how many people are gonna really just like have an emotional tie down to a random thing in the video game? Like the only thing mm -hmm. I've seen so far that was really like a big and emotional tie down was the dancing turtle. Oh yeah, yeah. I love him. Yeah. They so like that shit what, what's bit. what's the emotional tie downs that you think they're gonna be in Weathering Waves that are really just gonna mm. keep people bringing coming back with nostalgia? Because I hard. didn't see any. That was a big red flag for me. I, I think I, that's. I think we're a little bit too early on to identify that, but I do think it probably would be the the, the fucking turtle and the character so far. I feel like I, there's okay. some characters, especially because like uh, the thing that um, I think Wuthering Waves does really well that other god teams don't do is they actually have like attractive male characters that look like fucking you know Jack yes. fucking man. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, one hundred percent. I mean Gallagher's pretty good, dude. I mean, yeah, he's all right. What's his the name? Thing is, Gallagher's not a man, bro. He's thirteen. Gian kind of looks oh, like loser. It's true. He is? Wait, you didn't? Yeah. You didn't see that? I, dude, okay, so again, you, when we talked, I has I still have not got back and finished the Honkai Star Rail story because oh. I, I literally, I have two accounts, right? So I, I clicked through the story on the free-to-play account so I could get to the event, and then I did the drinks event, but I don't know anything about what happened after Sparkle showed up in the story on 2.1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, the, 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 dude, him in that scene... And like understanding that him saying that he's 13, then understanding what 13 represents was like such a cool bit of fucking lore, especially for JoJo fans who picked up on it fucking immediately because of, yeah. uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil it. But again, a second, do you care? Yeah, I like lore. So Gallagher in a scene, you're at a bar and he says, I'm 13. Okay. So 13 represents, uh, death. It's a, it's a tarot mm -hmm. card called death 13. And, uh, yeah, Gallagher is not a good guy, Seka. He is not a good fucking guy. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I chuckled. Was I, I didn't think about it. Oh. I didn't think about I, I, it. To oh. be honest, I, I like when I like when characters have more depth and they're like a little bit like more gritty. Yeah, well, I think Gallagher is a very gritty character that you'll find out version. You should finish the story, man. It's really, really, really good. Really fucking good. Two point one mm -hmm. was probably my favorite. Ah, though I don't know, man. Fucking there, the Kakolia buildup was so sick. Bias, but like, I still think it's also the best so far. I've just been thinking about it a lot. I also think it's just been the best story so far. It is so good, oh, but like, I, but uh, Kakolia and Bellabog was so much Kikolia, fucking fun, man. Well, I'm just think, seeing that there's a wildfire. I feel like most people are just like overhyping. Yeah, the music's wildfire. great. I was yeah, I was music, say, music and emotional tie down for that. Yeah, for sure. yeah wildfire yeah. for me is like all I think about for that thing, and it's, it's so yeah. strong that it so affects my opinion. Because yeah, everything else in that scene is kind of just, uh, I don't know. I think that the entire Bellabog was just kind of ass, bro. But, you know, that one that one scene was definitely good. I'm, yeah, I'm holding back so many insults towards you right now, Box. I was letting you know. I'm, I'm, I'm holding back <laughs> well, a lot. Wrong, oh, my God. Bro. I'm not trying to bully you. But I'm just, you know, I mean. A benevolent host. Yeah. I just, okay, I, so I, name, I rarely name show like, restraint. Name, like, okay. three things. Three things that you liked about the Bellabog story. Uh, Zilla, Bronya, and Nicolia. <laughs> those are characters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, those are three things. I guess they count No, no, you're right, Boxy. You, 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 don't let him know. Dude, also, yeah, Hunter, 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 Hunter. Hook being the leader of the moles. Oh, my God. That story was so cute. And then, oh, dude, post. the story of, uh, you know, Hook wanted to buy the thing for her dad. And her dad <laughs> okay, I teared up Hook. there. I, I teared up there. I'm a it daddy's was... girl, so I really, I was like, oh. No, no, no. Yeah, there's uh, so many cute fucking moments. And then Zeal and Bronya's dynamic was so great. And then, uh, you know, Bronya having to overcome the fear of her mother to, to fucking even have to take her mother's own life was just fucking insane. That For was the freedom really of her people. The only mm -hmm. thing that let me down about Bellabog was the um, the we're like everybody in Bellabog's gonna group up for the grand celebration, and then there was like five people there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I hope they put Zvarog back in the story at some point. He's so he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, they won't. We, we already yeah. got new Zvarog. His name is Sam. He's great. Yeah, Sam. What, yeah, Sam's cool. They're actually doing a two for one special for his banner. It's dope. Oh, okay. <laughs> very exciting. Yeah. Very two characters exciting. for the price of one man. It's gonna be dope. I can't wait for the Sam banner personally. I mean, I'm fucking. Oh, stoked. I'm stoked for it. Uh, so, mm -hmm. um, uh, lastly, Mary, uh, how do you feel about Weathering Waves? Are you gonna be playing or no? 
Oh, I'm definitely gonna play it. I, you know, it's like anime. You give it three episodes. It's a free game. You, you yes, should sir. try it out, no matter what. And um, I like that it's darker tone. I know, like, it might not attract as much people because it's not vibrant and stuff. But I kind of like the darker tone. It feels more mature, and um, a lot of the characters look more mature. And uh, that one guy, Jinyan, looks really cool. He looks like Lancer. That's what my first. Yeah, thought. he does. He Lancer does. And then I saw Kitty Boy. Cool. He's so cute. And then all the girls are so hot, dude. That uh, see, what is that? Lenian. Did you see um, Kitty Boy's yeah. previous form? No, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't yes, got like, sport. Like, so hey. in Wuthering Waves, a lot of the characters were actually full-blown furries. And then they revoked it and they made them humans. Oh, they was their lore their supposed to be like... Is it, was there like a Chinese thing on that? Like, like His name was General Awu. Awu? Yeah, General Awu. Awu. Yeah. Oh, that would have been so cute. That's what Zero's Zone is doing, right? They're all like animal experiments. Bro. I never got in the beta in that either. I just watched it on Bro. the side. I want to try it out too. So I played. Wait, is there is there another is there another beta coming for, for Zero? Uh, no, for <laughs> Weathering Waves. Uh, the, yeah, my, the release date's on the twenty second, but there should be another beta happening before that as well. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just for just for yeah. final touches. Uh, but yeah, I mean, imagine my surprise when I play Zone Zone Zero and I see one of the hottest characters I've ever seen in the form of Nicole. And then you look up. And it's just bears fucking dogs and dogs fucking dogs. Like, bro, the furry community <laughs> oh. for Zone Zone Zero is insane. Like, it is fucking insane. Uh, it's because Vaughn is hot. I, I thought like, it was funny. Vaughn? Oh, wait, wait what? what? What'd you say? The, 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 what? I said Vaughn is hot. Vaughn? The uh, the that... white the white uh, wolf in Zenless. Oh, the guy that looks yeah, like the, the one yeah. girl from Odin Ring? Yeah, he has a mask on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Furry, 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 furry cut, furry cut, furry cut. He's like a, he's a guy. <laughs> I gotta fix my microphone. Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. We're back. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Right there, it was like low-hanging fruit, though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 She has horns. Yeah, my microphone yeah, yeah. exploded. All right, oh. um, final question, just to keep us on topic, and then uh, we can kind of go into a little waffling segment. Uh, by the way, does anybody need to use the bathroom? Does anybody need to go get a drink of water? You are more than welcome to do so. I'm going to grab Mountain Yeah, go for I'm it. I'm too cheesy, yeah. I might be okay. Cool. Yo, Laro, yeah, talk, I'm, talk. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll yeah. be right back. Well, Laro, talk, talk about uh, talk about your day, Laro. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Okay, uh, my day so far. <laughs> uh, I mean, to be honest, I woke up Ooh. and I chugged that. Well, I'll talk about the night before because that leads into my day. But uh, I drank the Gamer Sups AFK, the raspberry yeah. flavor, which is really yummy. Y'all should what's try. The, what's the code for it? For 10 percent uh, off. OTK. 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 Got you. Got I don't you. Have Thank one. you, man. <laughs> I just give you a code. OTK. Oh, it's not even your own code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just shout out his code. Fuck it. <laughs> oh shit, bro. But uh, uh, uh -huh. yeah, that AFK shit works. My ass ended up building lethality scion support. I was Ooh. so tired. Oh, we put so on my was, league. Yeah. Yeah, Lee, it's back that to League Legends, so bro. That is so gross. Lethality Yo, uh, scion. I am just thinking was, about it right now. It was. Dude, my ACM is so shit. I can't play. It was. Insane. But, Do you guys uh, yeah. play no, AFK sorry. Journey? Dude, oh! you soon you and Fob, bro. You and Fob yesterday not. were going, dude. Fucking bro. Jesus Christ. You guys are addicts, man. Oh I started God. as a sponsor and I ended up addicted. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's actually a really cool. Like, I'm, I'm surprised how how well they made it, man. Like, holy it's shit! It's pretty chill. It's like yeah. a yeah. It's coming like at the, the best time because like mm. there's no content in Genshin or Star Rail. Mm. That is true. So <laughs> what, what is if it's AFK? Because I um I didn't really watch a whole lot of stuff about it. What's the combat like? Like, is this uh, like, like, oh, it's like TFT. It's like... it's like TFT. Oh, really? Yeah, Wait, the I combat. Yeah, it's like Wait, a chess board, and you you place your units that you roll. It's. It's like TFT. <laughs> uh, don't play. I think they these guys have been spending like hella money, bro. So you know, I'm just saying. Uh, no, I'm free to play. Is there people free to play? Wait, yeah, I'm free to play. Are, are, you okay, have such so good wait. deals, man. Are you guys uh -huh. are are you guys free to play in Star Rail or are you guys pay to play in Star both. Rail? Or are you guys okay both? Interesting. Wait, what do you mean both? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, wait, the I do. I, I have I have a free to play account for like the okay. challenges of whatever characters I roll, and then I have a whale account for my FOMO addiction. Bro, that's a okay, cute dog. It. What is Me too. Oh, sorry. What, what is Yo, that is oh mental. Aw, that's so uh, cute. His name's Luffy. Sorry, he was barking at the mailman. Luffy. So uh, wait, Luffy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Luffy oh, from God. One Piece. Oh, that's so cute. 
So Did you like the live action? Um, I actually have not watched that because I was watching a bunch of animes at the time and K dramas. I went to that K drama arc. So you should I, watch it. It's really, really, I, really fucking good. I know. I heard it some really good. good things about it, but uh, it's yeah. only like the first, like what the first season. Yeah, it gets Are to the uh, it gets to the finale of Arlong Park. Oh. It, like, it like they get so far. You know, they cut funny? out so much, but they did so good with it. Yeah, I never it, watched it is... One Piece. Oh yeah. Okay, until then. until I watched the live action, and the yeah. live action was so good, I decided to do One Piece, and I got finished with I think Nami's arc, or whatever. I got to continue yeah. that, but it was I, really good. I like One Piece. I'm current. I'm out to date on all of it, but like, I mean, my problem is like I'm like a man of my time, and in the span that you read One Piece. You can read 13 different animes in that time. So, like, unless One Piece is better than those 13 animes, I'd rather just watch those 13 animes. But I'm caught up there. So, I get it, people don't watch it. Because, uh, I mean, it's so a, long. Yeah, there's a lot to do. need one through. pace. As someone who's watched all 1,100 episodes. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> Wait, you watched all of it, even the fillers? Yeah, I'm old, dude. No way. <laughs> I've had time. You You're guys fine with have the time. Part of that generation where there's like 20 episodes of just fillers of Goku just powering up. That was I awesome. can't do that. I, <laughs> yeah, I that was, was awesome. Dude. But I don't, I don't have care. I don't have that attention span anymore. I I, I don't think I why used talk, to. Why are you talking like you're 30, bro? No. <laughs> dude, <laughs> I, mean, I, like I remember my, I used to be able to, but that's my, my old joints age. aren't what they used no, to be. I just can't I pay think, attention anymore. I think when you like we talked about it earlier when we started like streaming more, it's just yeah. like my attention span just like goes from like. One second, I'm like, I forget what I'm saying already. I'll yeah. just look at something, and I'll look at something else, and then the chat will link me something, and I'll look at that, and I'll forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I blame my chat. Yeah, yeah I blame my chat. Yeah, yeah, fuck chat, chat, dude. Yeah, fuck tech tone shit. Oh, shit. My, sorry, uh, I'm sorry. You do not actually talk my chat. No, my Those bad. are my babies. My man. bad. Yeah, I've been my bad, bro. Dude, I've been taking care, because I've been streaming for so long. Like, I've had people who started my watching my stream when they were, like, a junior in high school that are now, like, graduated college, and they're, like, working a job. And that it's just insane to me. Like I, I love that part of streaming. Like there, it's like you raise them. Yeah, or like, like I, 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 dude, I even introduced like multiple chatters to like their partners, and then they got married because of me. Damn, and they like sent photos of themselves at their wedding, be like, "Hey, man, oh, thanks for letting me meet my fucking husband." And I'm like, I didn't do anything, but thanks, I guess. You <laughs> yeah. know, I mean, yeah, That's sure. So <laughs> That's fucking awesome, though, man. Wait, how yeah. long have you been ma uh, making content for? I don't even remember. Because you started with uh, uh, Summer's War, right? Yeah, Summer's War. That was a while ago. That was like five, six years ago. You just uh, Yeah. It's, it's, I think you know, I heard about you time. before Get like before Genshin, even. It's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, no, I've been around for a while. I did Summer's War, and I I've been pretty successful in any game that I've covered, uh, which is why I hate when I get called. Like, whenever I cover a new game, I get called, like, the Genshin guy. The Honkai Star Rail guy. That's how well, I found you. It, it's so, yeah, I know. And it's annoying because, like, whenever I play a game, I'm like, oh, you're that guy. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just, I play Gotcha Game. I play all Gotcha Game. Arc Epic remember... 7, Summoner's War, uh, Summoner's War, Sinnoh Alice, Alune, Ooh La La. Very underrated. Ooh La La was so fucking good. Um, what else? Uh, did I say Ring of Heroes? Yeah, Ring of Heroes. Uh, pretty much any Gotcha Game that came out. Did I you played. ever. Did... did you ever play uh, Final Fantasy? I avoid before... Gotcha Games that rely on an IP. Okay. Yeah, so if it was like Final Fantasy or Dragon Ball or Naruto, I just, or seven, the only one I ever made an exception for was Seven Deadly Sins, and that game was fucking terrible, and I dropped the shit immediately. Dude, the, Wait, game, that, the game that broke yeah. my heart was that Nino Kuni. Lie. The Nino Kuni game broke my fucking heart when that came out, because Nino Kuni's one of my favorite games. Oh, I did try that one. Yeah. The, yeah. Dude, N NFTs in a fucking gotcha game were insane. Yeah. It, like, it, was, it was like chill, but then, yeah, it kind of got ruined. Yeah, I was I was not a fan of that shit. Black Clover was I, also pretty decent, but I dropped that too. Wait, why do you why do you avoid games with uh, with an IP? I just, feel like, I just feel like they heavily rely on that IP to keep a kind of like a brain rotted fan base. Because I'll be real, but Dokkan is not good. Okay, you don't I play Dokkan for the that. game. You play Dokkan because you like Dragon Ball Z. That's it. No, yes. it's, shit, maybe. <laughs> Dude, I, I played that game for many one. years. That's <laughs> yep. You play yeah. it for the polls because you get so many during anniversary. You you quit the game for a friggin' year, then you come back during Annie or New Year's or whatever when they give you a lot of free summons, and you're like, yeah! And yeah. then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm done for a little bit. I'll be back. Guys, you gotta realize, Do they have any not go to Dragon Ball Z. Is. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z is so fucking good. It's one of my favorite mangas of all time. And people shit on Super. I like Super. Like, I love every rendition of I'm a Dragon Ball, like, fucking Super fan. Uh, Broly's my favorite character. Then it goes Vegeta. Oh, fuck, Vegeta's so fucking good. Oh, Broly's, the, Broly's the goat, man. Wait, what do you think about Daima, bro? Do you, do you actually think he's good, like, honest opinions? Who? Daima, bro. 
Dragon Ball Diamond or uh, what you call it, Magic? Was was the, the the new one coming out? You haven't heard of it? Are you fucking serious? Oh wait, the one where it's Kid Goku again? Yeah, yeah, that one. That shit looks cringe as fuck. Damn, yeah. bro. Not a real fan, then. Fuck. I'm excited as fuck for that, bro. Oh. I'm gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna have to watch it. Yeah, what do you mean? Oh no, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, oh, I like GT. God. I thought GT was great, but I would just prefer more Super be animated. To be honest, because Super is so fucking good. Me too. No, that's like, the reason. <sighs> they they end Super at the tournament of power with the worst fucking bad guy they've ever had with Jiren because Jiren had no personality. He was literally just a stat stick. It was so bad. But now they got motherfuckers like dude. Cultural appropriation, Frieza. Like, dude, that shit is insane. Like, I want to see what I want to see how they overcome that, dude. That shit's nuts. <laughs> that shit kills me, bro. Yeah, dude. That's a really funny name. Yeah, I bet Zoro would hate that motherfucker, man. Like, that shit's Ooh, nuts. <laughs> Anyways, uh, want to go to the final thing uh for the specific topics, and then we'll have a bonus one later if anybody wants to chill around for it. Sure. Uh, final question is how did you feel? And I want us to be very petty. Like, be be as petty as you like. Um how did you feel about the Honkai Star Rail 2.1 story, high points, low points, and anything you want to talk about, McQueen? I want to start with uh, Mary. Me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so we can spoil? Like, should we tell people to go away? Yeah, I'm going to put spoiled? a spoiler in YouTube if you haven't done okay. that. But yeah, Chad, I'll be real. If you haven't done it by this point, you're not going to fucking do it. And it's going to be way better to hear us talk about it than you do for the first time. So just spoil away. It doesn't matter. Chad, nobody cares. Okay. Okay, this is gonna sound a little base, but I felt like Ekron was overhyped. I was like not really into her. I watched the music video for her and it was meh. I, I didn't really like it that much. But then I did the story and like when we actually got to know her freaking personality, because she was just, you know, mute the whole time, you know why, and stuff, I was like, wait, actually she might be cool. And then the ending when she was fighting Aventurine, I was like, okay, I'm sold. I see why she's hyped. But like like, yeah, at first I just wasn't winning. Like, did you did you like the like, part where Akron was fucking Black Swan in the ass? I rewatched that. Sometime. That I watched that. What? That was crazy. That was oh, that was crazy. I was Literally like, what the back. fuck? Yeah. I have to go. go. Uh, I have to go right now because I have to go uh, do the story. <laughs> yeah, Bro, dude. Second, second. Just look at my chat if you want to see it because it's, it's it's only got the image in there. Is it called like Ag shot or something? Yeah, Ag shots. Ag shots. I can't <laughs> see it. I don't. I don't. Oh no! I read them out. Right. I, I will say though, I was pissed when people spoiled me because like, uh, okay, oh, I feel so bad. Okay, d don't don't listen if you want to get spoiled. But when like you know the Sam thing, I was so mad that Twitter spoiled me. I was so mad. They're like, it's obvious. It's in the Lord. Did you not read the thing on the side? Blah blah. blah. Like this is already known. It's not spoilers. I'm like, you. Like, this moment was so good. Like, yeah, I was I, so mad. Story spoilers are so fucking cringe. It's so because like yeah. I would have been like, oh my god, because like I watch my friends play because my friends don't use social media that much. And I watched them do the story and their reaction was like, holy fucking shit. Like yeah. they were like freaking out. And I'm like, I wish I had that reaction on stream. I wish I had I'm that. Like I I loved it. I loved it. I was like, I wish I was surprised too, but you know, I yeah. uh God, you can't least. believe that Sam is Firefly, Sekapoko. Can you believe that? <laughs> no, okay, no. Okay, okay, so to be oh. fair, I, I kind of guess that like yeah. okay, like right. I like three months ago or two months ago yeah because yeah. like there was like a there was a leak say, saying sam and then there was a parentheses firefly i'm like wait does that mean sam is firefly so Dude. i hadn't actually so i saw a leak that said that and i was like huh i just got story spelled without a, like yeah. just a name that was parentheses yeah Dude, like, i mean I sure like if it's obvious still like you know be considerate of those that are dumb and don't know like you know because it's exciting when you find out I don't know about like you, but like, I, I saw a lot of. Oh shit, my bad. Sorry. Maybe that's why I don't like it right now, huh? Because I got spoiled like super super early. Yeah. Oh, that's probably it. Like I mean, I'll, I'll be real. Like uh, for me, I think the best quest that uh, Gets ever put out was 4.0 Fontaine. That was incredible. Like I'm trying to finish. Just fucking so good. I love that story so much. Uh, because Wait, I think uh, 4.0 Fontaine. Because I think um, what's your name? Cute girl, Farina. I feel like Farina is the. I feel like oh, Farina is the best character they ever made. So Perfect. Cute. Oh, because she has yeah. a lot of personality. I call a lot of personality and incredibly flawed. And uh, I love that shit because I really hate when Genshin just makes a serious character like, oh, this guy's very serious because his, his backstory was very sad. So now he's a serious guy. And I'm like, I you, don't just know, say you hate Scaramouche. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do fucking hate Scaramouche. That's a shit fucking character. He's just like a misunderstood Sundre. Okay. 
<laughs> I mean, to me, he looks like a fucking pussy boy kidding. that I can kill in one punch. Okay, like, how am I supposed to take this kid? To- like, Liddy, if you, if, if a adult male in the normal world would you punch him in his ribs, his entire skeletal structure would evaporate. Like, he just bro, has mommy it- issues. Okay, that's not my problem. Mommy <laughs> <That's- Raiden. laughs> okay. All right, not my fault. Regardless, uh, yeah, I feel like the two point one story quest. Uh, I think it easily it just bodies that shit for me personally. I mean, the story of Adventurine was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, Crazy I don't want to cut you off anymore, Mary. Do you have any more thoughts on the on the two point one story quest? Oh, I, I think it's really good. It's just the best. I, I'm still tuned in. I'm where I'm ready for the next part. Or did, was there anything that you did not enjoy? I did not enjoy the spoilers, but uh, besides that, the actual story itself, uh, I it's kind of hard because I don't know. I, I just liked a lot. I, I guess I have to redo it to like you know. Sure. I, I don't know. Okay. Maybe like doing the puzzle to get inside the building that was like tedious. I was like, just fucking move on. Let's just open the fucking door. Like, let's just fucking in. move on. I'll, I'll be right one tapped in like a second, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's one of those. You, you play late. Yeah. You don't these things. Uh, Hex, have you beaten the quest? <laughs> yeah, Hex, you're muted. True. Hex, you're true. Muted. Babe, yeah. Oh I'm my god. Man. Hi. Hello. And now Sorry. I'm wondering uh, how long you've been muted for? Because I haven't heard you talk um, like an hour and a half. Uh, uh, since you walked away a couple minutes ago, uh, I've oh, okay, been muted since then because I went to go pee. It's not been that yeah. long. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to talk over people. Um, yeah, yeah. but, uh, I, I did, um, I did, I, the story has been completed on my account. Yes. By you? Yes. <laughs> okay, what did you think? Wait. I thought it was really cool when, uh, Gallagher made Sunday bust on the floor at the end. That was cool. So hot. Yeah, I liked it was that really shit. hot. Yeah, uh, I also thought it was really cool when it turned out that Robin was uh, Sam the whole time. It was Robin, right? Yep, that's mm. the one. Mm. Now, you're, yeah, Sam. you're talking like a person who like didn't enjoy it that much. Did you not enjoy it, Hex? Um, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of screwed myself uh, because the first time when I started playing, I kind of like left click through the whole first part of the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I actually didn't know that Ting Yoon had been, um, her neck had been snapped. And <laughs> I had been playing for like two weeks before I knew that uh, most recently, because you were talking about it on stream. Yeah. Um, and so I, <laughs> I skipped through the whole first part of the story and then trying to like come back to it, I was like, Dude, they're talking about uh, all this crazy stuff that I don't know, and I didn't know where to start, really. And there were so many, like, lore videos, and then there was, like, Honkai Impact third stuff. And so now I just kind of stay, like, left-clicking um, Wait, through so the story. Wait, so do you know any of the story? I know very basics of the story. You should really, you should really, you should, you should check out the story. I'm going to be real. Honkai Star Rail is- I know. Yeah, I know. there's I know. gotta be a, like a, oh, you know, what a, so a great YouTube channel would be. Uh, Someone needs to make a YouTube channel of like not not like the story itself, but like Dragon Ball Z abridged. For, for I need Star that Real. so bad yeah. because it's we like I would have to watch so like six hours of YouTube videos to catch up at this point. <laughs> and like I thought, like because Genshin, I felt like you could kind of jump in a little bit, and and it wasn't too big of a deal to figure out what happened. In this game, I skipped and then went into 2.0. And um, they would. I, I was so incredibly lost. Um, I play. I, I tried doing it on stream for like thirty minutes, and I was like, guys, I don't think I. I don't think I can add anything because I'm like, I don't know what a self annihilator is. I don't know what Black Swan's job is. I don't know what's happening. I mean, all that you learn in 2.0. So you went in with decent knowledge. I'm just gonna keep it 100. percent Like Black Swan. I, sure. I should have. I so should you have were for lost sure. The whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I left clip through ever absolutely everything because I, I I just I I guess to a certain extent I thought that I could um I thought I could catch up. No, I just pick so, it up um, as I like, So as a as a lore skipper, a lore skipper enthusiast, uh, uh-huh. how did you enjoy getting to the drinks event at the very end? Oh, I was absolutely and completely miserable and literally cried the entire time for about four hours. Yeah. It was awesome. That Why was I making drinks for random ass enemies? I still, uh, I, there was the Yakuza was there, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, suddenly, I like walked out, and all of a sudden, like Sparkle was there. I uh, Black Swan. I don't know why they were there. It was, uh, it was. I like the drinks though. There were nice physics on the drinks. 
Mm. I uh, skipped it too, to be fair. <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and explain the whole HSR 2.0, 2.1 <laughs> story to you real quick, mm-hmm. and 2.0. Uh, okay. And, uh, feel free to correct me, because it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you, Himiko, Welt, and March 7th go to a new planet. In this mm-hmm. new planet, there's this thing called Soul Glad. Uh, when you drink the Soul Glad, you'll be teleported into the dream version of that planet. Go into your right. That's what it's called, Soul Glad. Soul Glad. And I wish there was a sugar free Soul Glad option. That's but when good. you drink this and you go sit in your shell, uh, you pass out, you go to the dream world. The dream world, essentially, uh, it is believed that uh, nothing can harm you in this dream world, which is why, like, when the traveler first goes, or the trailblazer first goes down, she plummets mm-hmm. into the fucking ground, into a fucking crater, and she doesn't fucking die. Uh, so yeah. you get up, and you meet this refugee, and her name is Firefly, and she kind of wants to be your mm-hmm. tour guide uh, for mm-hmm. this area. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it was a, a very nice time. You meet with her, you have very nice moments. She gives you money to buy a treat, <laughs> but generally everybody you know, spends all of the money to get every treat, and you take all of this girl's money. Uh, and it's a very cute moment. You go up, she shows mm-hmm. you her secret base, not her vagina. It's a very nice like, oh. secret area where you get to hang out, have a nice tender moment, see the fireworks. It's very beautiful. Um, mm-hmm. I remember then, that. And then, uh, yeah, you go up and you meet up with characters like Black Swan and Kafka. Black Swan's like a fortune teller. Acheron is this being that exists in a reality as well as many realities. And she is the, uh, what's the what's the word? Someone knows the word. She has a separate title. Memo- Se- self-annihilator. Memo- self-annihilator. Uh, that was nameless, right? Emulator? Oh, wait. <laughs> Isn't she? Is she she's a self annihilator, no? Are we talking about Emanator? Emanator. The Emanator. The emanator. emanator. The emanator. Oh, emanator. Thank, oh, you. Okay. Thank you, chat. The Galaxy Ranger, the Emanator. And uh, she had previously been reported of completely annihilating the Annihilation Gang, which is characters like Duke Inferno, which we previously saw on the uh, Dr. Ratio quest uh, when we were capturing that little spirit. It was Dr. Ratio's entire team got fucking bodied. Doctor mm-hmm. or uh, Duke Inferno's dead. The rest of his crew is fine, but they're still like trying to get to you or some shit. It's not really that important. Oh my god, summarizing all this in fucking like thirty seconds is really fucking hard. Uh, yeah. There's uh, characters like Sunday and Robin, and they're like the you know what? Just play the fucking story. You got it. Anyways, yeah, yeah. I just look at the YouTube videos. Uh, it's it, there's so much information to pack in. Yeah, it's like, it's like summarizing all of One Piece in like thirty seconds is so fucking difficult. But uh, yeah, it is pretty straightforward. There are new characters that have personality just. The only thing that you need to know before going into 2.0, genuinely, is who March 7th, Walt, and Himiko are. That's it. I don't know that either. You're funny. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, right. okay, oh, I know who they are. I can name the characters. I don't know what they're like. All right, Himiko is, is just some nice lady who's on your ship. She's your mom. Walt is she this cool guy coffee. from another group. Wait, yeah. do you know why her name is March 7th? I think that's when they found her. That's when they hatched her. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I did not know. (laughs) I know very, I know bits and pieces, but yeah. uh, uh, (laughs) I know that's when they found her because she was like floating around in space and ice or something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one character in JoJo's. Uh, And Welt and Himiko are dead, but not in this game. No. I think. Himiko's dead in Honkai Impact. Welt came from Honkai Impact 3rd, and now he's the same version of him in Honkai Impact 3rd in the new game. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Mm. So that's yeah. why the universes yeah. are intertwined. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's called the Hoyoverse. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the name of the. That's oh, the name of the company. Oh, <laughs> shit, insane. Yeah, because no in case you don't know, um, Zen the Zone realize. Zero is uh, in Bellabog. They're Bellabogians. No, uh, that, right? really? Oh, really? Is that actually? Google in the beta, it. Beta. It's that in the beta. Is this misinformation. Maybe the wolf boy will be playable. Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> I know. I was saying, um, in the game Zenless, they do mention one of the worlds, uh, in Star Rail in Zenless. Yeah, which is Bellabogs. Mm. So it at least exists in the same universe as Bellabog. They've been so putting Servo's a lot of gonna be in the game in Star Rail too. Let me let me Google this. Zenless Zone Zero Bellabog. Uh. Okay, here we go. Also uses Bellabog. So Bellabog mm-hmm. is in the game. We're assuming it's connected to the Honkai Star Rail universe. Betty, okay, Betty, so why Betty, there? Betty. Okay, so why is there a big difference between Genshin and Star Rail then? What do you think? Uh, because like- uh, um, so I have a very good answer for this. So yeah. I follow a lot of leaks on Twitter, guys, and this one guy called Impact Mouse put out a uh, post saying because Genshin Impact is a uh, it's not a priority. 
for Hoyoverse to be developing. It's kind of just like oh, a side Oh, no, no, no. Fun. That's not what I meant. That's not oh, what I meant. okay. All right. Um, I meant uh, the world of Genshin has elements, right? Yep. And the world of Star Rail and Honkai does not. So if they're both part of the Hoyoverse, then what's the interaction? Well, what do you mean Honkai Star doesn't have elements? What do you mean? Honkai Star Rail does not have uh, like ice fire. visions or elements. Like when you have the elements, right? They're they're going to be like elemental type damage, right? But in they Genshin, they're based they on vision, that. right? They, so, but they're based on a vision, right? Oh, why so you're do asking, why don't why don't Hawkeye Star Wars players have visions? Yeah. Oh, because uh, yeah. that shit's stupid. All right, cool. True. Yeah. Pass. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, valid. Mm-hmm. It's okay. just confusing, bro. Like, generally, why the fuck do we need that? Oh, this thing's a delusion. This thing's a vision. Who cares? Just fucking, you know, does Goku need a vision to do the command man way? Fuck. If that. I got this flamethrower, do I got a vision of fire? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, they just be doing shit for fun. Uh, but yeah. Um, I feel like. Uh, oh, real quick. Does anybody have any negative opinions on Honkai Star Rail two point one story? It was way too I mean, much stun locking. Long. Yeah. It, it was, was think, so okay. much stun locking. I, I liked it a lot, but I did notice on the internet, um, a lot of people complained it was like a yap fest. Mm-hmm. But it was like... Yes. It was kind of crazy, though, because it's talking about story and the character's development. So I was a little surprised when people were complaining about how much talking there was in 2.1. I yeah, think I that it's people like are complaining though. ironically. Because it's like when people come into my chat and they say, holy fuck, this Twitch stream's a yap fest. Yeah, what do you expect, man? Wait, it's like, it's I don't... A, Yes, go I ahead. I don't like the pauses and the breathings that they do. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. No, I, I, I unironically think that it is, like, as someone who gets stun locked in story, I'm just tired of that right now. <sighs> it was so, definitely, like, an endurance run. I did it all in one sitting, and, it, and yeah. I, like, purposefully tried not to yap during it to get through it, and it still took almost seven hours. Yeah. I mean, I took me 11 That's hours. Insane. I enjoyed yeah. it very heavily. <laughs> Every bit of no. it. The, the only yeah, part I, that I, I do not enjoy. Step of the way. You know, I but guess the long. only... Oh, sorry. Wait, Kush, you can finish? No, no, I was just saying I enjoyed it every step of the way. I'm not yeah. really complaining that it was long because I think it deserved to be. And I think, honestly, the development we got for Adventuring, the character development was some of the best, if not the best character development that we've gotten so far. Like, we got so deep into that guy, so it well, needed yeah. to be that long. He liked that. Mm. I, oh I guess, gosh. like... This isn't really a negative thing. Oh, I kind of liked it, but I didn't like it. Is that in 2.1 story, it would do a huge like news drop and then go to the next story right away. So There's like we don't so have, t- yeah, yeah, we don't have time to absorb the information. It was like one after the other, but it was like good though. You know, it was like huge lore drop and then all right, next thing. So I, it kind of like enjoyed that because it's like, oh, what the fuck does that mean? I want to finish this to get to the next one. Then I I found enjoyment all of it. The one part that I didn't yeah. find enjoyment in was um. When we were playing Adventurine and we had to talk to the random glitched out NPCs for about 40 minutes before oh. Sparkle <laughs> came out and, uh, you know, revealed herself. Oh. Like, hey, this part of the oh, quest yeah. isn't oh, fucking yeah. pointless. Other that's than exactly that, where I am and that's why I'm like, oh my god. That part sucks. I actually skipped the dialogue options of the random NPCs. Other than that, I did not skip shit. But uh, yeah, I thought that part was fucking great. Uh, yeah. Um, well, that's pretty much... Box, shut the fuck up. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about in specific. So, uh... Uh, chat, if there's anything you want us to talk about or if anything uh, anything that y'all would like to uh, bring up before we end this thing, uh, we can pretty much just talk about whatever we want now. So if you guys have anything that you want to ask, everybody just go for it. Why do oh, you yeah. want to uh, play Arlecchino? Why do I want to play Arlecchino? Yeah. Um, I kind of like bringing um, the reality back to the Genshin community. I, I like being, you know, being like, hey guys, it's really not that fucking good. You know, because people play that game, they overhype absolutely fucking everything. And I kind of like being the uh, the bitter pill of reality that people have to swallow to where, like, yeah, it's pretty sure. good, but it's not going to change your fucking life. Because I really don't like when gotcha games and characters get overhyped uh, because these are games that people spend a lot of money on. And it is whatever you, whatever you, it doesn't matter what you think. These gotcha games, guys, and let's just call it what it is. These are gambling games being sold to children. Okay, Mm -hmm. and I know that very well, and I don't want anybody to think that they need to pull this character, that if they don't, their life's going to be fucking miserable, and I just like informing people the reality of every situation. That way, people aren't ruining their lives, spending all of their money on a character they think they need, that they really don't. So that's pretty much it. Okay. 
Imagine if they had that character in game. <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty powerful character though. Yeah. yeah. That's why yeah, I really I, that's I'm... why I really enjoy advocating for the free to play uh and um Wuthering Waves and Honkai Star Rail. Because mm. it's so fucking viable. And same for Genshin too. Like I, I really just want to encourage people to only light spend and uh free to play, but uh let people know that whaling is very fucking stupid and it's just it's just not worth mm. doing ever. <laughs> Yeah, that's why the free to play accounts just to prove like you can still have fun. It's like it's not, you know, blocked by money. Like you can literally play. I, I'm enjoying my free to play accounts too. So I oh I think um, the biggest difference between free to play and uh pay to play when it comes to Star Rail specifically is the what you said earlier about Mr. Pokey being out of touch. The amount of people that get out of touch really quickly because they're a whale is crazy high. It, yeah. It so is. like like it's it's way, way different to play the game free to play on Star because there's so many characters, so many more summons. So most of the time, if you're free to play, you're just farming traces, right? You can't even like farm the relics and people I'm like 170 speed. Like, what the fuck? I will How say, I think the exact inverse is also true where people who are free to play think they have it way harder than they actually do. And really? they think they think that if you spend like twenty dollars, you just win the entire fucking video game. And the mm -hmm. game just shits itself the moment that you have one character at E1. And that if you've mm -hmm. even spent $5, everything that you did is completely invalidated. So I, I think it exists for both. I think free-to-plays are very out of touch. I think whales are very out of touch. And I think everybody can find a nice middle ground. To be honest, I think the people who spend $20, $20 $30 on Genshin Impact are probably the most realistic. Because anybody yes. who's like entirely free-to-play is generally for a fucking challenge. But uh, yeah, I think mm -hmm. they're out of touch on both sides for sure. Uh I agree so hard on this because I'm I'm mainly a I'm free to play on Honkai Star Rail. I hear both sides. I'll hear people coming into my chat and praising me being free to play, and then I'll see the other side where I come in and I'm clearing content. They'll be like, "Well, you're just a lucky free to play, or you just have meta use yes. player clearing." I have literally <laughs> the amount of people that call you lucky is crazy when you're free to play, right? But yeah. streamer luck. Is, yeah, they'd be like streamer like or you're just lucky or like you just got lucky with your relics and be like well it's all luck at the end of the day it is a mm. gotcha game but yeah. you know i am doing free to play for the challenge as well like i just want to see how far i can push it because like let's be honest like we can just spend and clear the game and you know get more chances to get better relics but i just want to see how far i could push it but yeah, yeah but like that's just me but then i get called out for being like hey you're free to play like good on you she can clear content and then you get the whole other thing where like oh but like maybe you're just lucky or like you got like an E, you know, maybe you have an E2 deal. That's why you're clearing. They're like, this credit. E2 like my, deal. Yeah, I don't have E2 deal, okay? But they'll sit there and look at my dad and be like, okay, you obviously have like an E2 Acura. And I'll be like, what? Like, what are you, like, <laughs> yeah. like what is going on here, right? Um, but also I, I'm, I guess I'm the other side of the coin too, where I am not the, I'm a free to play that pulls for like homes. So like I make it easier for me to build characters, but like, I don't know, everyone plays differently. They, you know, all of people recommend different things. I play with the Lycones, um, but yeah. I still get called up for that shit and be like, well, that's not really free to play friendly. I'm like, what do you mean? How the like, fuck I'm is not... it not free? If I got <laughs> okay, okay, so I, so I, I, I get this point. I get this I see point. A lot, I see a lot of it. Like, please. Like, it's, it's rough. What's up, Sega? Go ahead. Okay, so um, I, I am 100% against summoning for Lycones in Star Rail specifically, but like Why? in Genshin, mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. So the reason I'm not okay with getting like guns i have one right now and i regret it um the power scaling of a character in star rail is not long enough um when a character gets a light cone they will not last long enough um so if i get if i'm a free to play player and i'm limited on the amount of resources that i could spend for light cones now I have to figure out if I'm going to play that character specifically for a super long amount of time when I have no idea what's going to happen in the future, right? So if I make a mistake on that, right, then I lose out on the next patch's character, which will be a power scaling over another team I would want to play, right? So if I get, let's just say, the next character, then the MOC and the SU and all the other the new content will be tailored toward that character specifically. And the content will be easier because I just own that character versus I got a character that is completely countered in that content and I have their like on. Sure, I, I can see that argument 100%, but I also think that if a person really likes the character and they want that character to last longer, um, then they can pull the like on to ensure that that character will be, you know, uh, at least viable for a much longer amount of time. That being said, I do believe that the content is viable pretty much with any character that you want to use. 
as long as you can mm-hmm. match up the old elements. And even sometimes if you get a character strong enough, like Jing Liu, uh, you don't even need to match the elements anymore. Just because the game's kind of getting uh, kind of shit stopping on the game right yeah. now. I'm not gonna lie. So, so to to prove that point kind of a little bit, um, okay. I was using yesterday. I re- I was testing between Kafka and Gwen, right? And I, I found out uh, Gwen Ivan, yeah. Yep. And um, we found out that with Black Swan versus Kafka, and my Kafka's E one with no light on. Uh, Gwen was the exact same speed in MOC and the exact same results that as Kafka. And if you go into a lot of different content, it will be similar. It just comes into What do you mean? Because Kafka, it depends how you use it, because Kafka is an enabler. No, so so is Gwen. Mm-hmm. Not so, to the same degree as Kafka. Kafka is so much better, it's fucking ridiculous. Okay, no. So here's, here's where this is the point of condition I'll disagree with. When Kafka uses her skill and you have three dot characters, Kafka is better because of her skill. But the big damage that Kafka usually puts out is from her burst, right? So if you burst more, you get more reactions. The thing about Black Swan is Black Swan changes her ability from a just wind ability to wind, lightning, fire, and uh, physical, right? And all of those can be triggered with Gwen's ulti. So if you use Gwen's ulti, she does the same thing as Kafka, where you'll trigger Black Swan and Gwen. And the amount of damage they do is similar, plus Gwen's going to put up a dot uh, that increases damage taken, plus you can lower the effect res, which then increases the amount of damage that you do from your Black Swan because the hit rate changes. Okay, so I, the- I, First of all, I love Gwen Ifen. I have her built. I use her quite often. Sure. Um, my problem is I don't look at any of this shit, so I can't refute anything because I got no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I, I, was just, I was just doing it yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what you might be saying is true or not true. I cannot argue anything because I have no fucking idea. I just use Kafka and she so, everything. Short version, true. Gwen triggers uh, Black Swan's dot. So does Kafka. Yeah, but okay. now you have a four-star character that does what Kafka does. Yeah, and I think that's great, personally. Okay. I think it's very now, good four-stars can be with five-star, sure. If I had gotten Kafka plus her light cone, and now I have a four-star character that, you know, is now out and that four star character I can get to E6 because let's just say, you know, I randomly got it. Then now I've summoned for a character too hard in one direction that is no longer as viable, right? Because a four star is on the same level. Well, I still think they would still be viable because then if that one character can also clear the content, the other character can clear the content, then it would just come down to preference. And I feel like if somebody pulled that character because they liked it, then it wouldn't matter. But I think if you right. pull for meta, you always lose. And I don't feel but then you lose like that way. Yeah, but then if you lo- then if you don't have a character, like if you wanted to get another character in the future, because you're free to play and you're limited on summons, now you don't get the next character that would come out. Then you have another alternative. And free to play is all about finding the alternative that's just as good, right? Not about getting every single character that you would want. Uh, I kind of YOLO on my free to play. <laughs> nice. I have E1 Kafka with their light cone with two uh, E1 Black Swan. Nice. I feel, like have if, ones like I feel like if you're free to play and you are playing meta, you will always lose. Really? I feel, like, I feel like it's actually not well, possible. I try for meta, but like, you know, like he yeah, said, you if, you don't, if you can't get Kafka, then you can just use Gwyneth, Gwyneth and yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like, like, like you can try, Iolo. sure, yeah. but like to play meta would imply, in my opinion, maybe your definition is different, in my opinion of meta is you are going to play the characters that are the best every time, and you're going to play no. them with their most efficient teams. What are you using it as? Um, mo- well, most efficient. Yeah, so, so what is the, the best, best characters? Best character at the time, whatever comes out. Like if it's like so, if another character comes out, the buffs are so ridiculous in Star Rail that I just constantly am going for the next character because the the entire set of content will be tailored toward that. So the meta is actually to get every new character. Yeah, and I feel like free to plays just cannot do that. Exactly. So you get the right new character instead of getting the light cone. But then you really can't get the right new character because they're going to be power creep by the other character. What character? There's never a right character to get it with your argument because you're saying every new character will be power crept, which means yeah. I can just ne- that reality can never happen. What do you mean? Well, because if you're saying every new character power creeps the old characters, then you can't pull for the right character because they're going to get power crept. I mean, there's also a new feed into my argument. No, that would feed against your argument. So I'm confused by your point. Okay. So go ahead and say it again. Okay. 
if you get the next character, no matter yeah. what it is, first off, you get to play more characters, so Pog. Second, uh, you get the most powerful character for the area that you're going to be needing them for. Mm -hmm. So if you get the most powerful character and then you're getting the next most powerful character, I don't see the purpose of getting a Lycan. Right, so that would make that character last longer. While right. being at the so, same vibe, because a character with their light cone most likely won't be power crept by the next character at E0. So you can pick the character that you like that's also meta with the light cone and it will last longer. Okay. So hopefully long enough to where instead of getting, you know, skipping one character, skipping two characters, you don't have to skip one because then you can skip a character because that character keeps up because they have their light cone. You, you can pull okay. for... Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna chime in. Um, because you can pull strategically with light cones. There's a lot of light cones mm -hmm. that yes. you don't need to pull, right? You know this. Um, but with the characters like uh, the destruction light cones, like I argue about this one quite a bit because the destruction light cones are so like different. All of them, they each do you know buff different characters, but um, especially like the ones like uh like ones that are made for like Dill. His light cone is so specific to his kit. There's nothing yes. that would act just like Dill's. Light cone, right? There's nothing that will act just like um, so just you're, like you're, Blade's light cone. There's nothing that will act just like uh, Jing Liu's light cone, right? You will get, you can use Fall of Aeons, you can argue all of that, but there's like certain things that have those light cones have like crit rate values that make it so much easier for you to build as a free to play because you're, you know, unlucky with relics or something like that. You can use those light cones to help you reach those breakpoints to uh, proc your Rudolent when you have it. So I think, honestly, so on you're, the you're talking side, about Kingshi, right? Um, sorry. Or or, you're talking about like King changing Lu and stuff, right? No, or, I'm I mean, talking uh, like, about like being more mindful about your light cone pulls. I'm not saying like don't pull for it. Um, okay, so because... to be specific on the light cone pulls, uh, I have a whale account too where I, I was pulling for light cones and characters mm -hmm. and everything. What character specifically has a light cone that would do what you're describing? That would do better than all the characters? When yeah, you, like, like, the like the you're, you're, you're kind of like prefacing the idea of a generalized light cone that would oh, no, be no, good no, for no. a lot of characters. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm so what's your, what's your point on that one? So I'm saying that each light cone, so destruction light cones, if you look at all the destruction light cones, I can't okay. put Fall of Aeons on Blade and Jingyu okay. and Dill for it to act the same. The Herder Shop one, right? Yes, that's okay. what I mean. You can argue that it would be like a 5% difference, but you can't literally just like say that that's good for every single person. The Harmony light cones, like there's a lot of good Harmony light cones, free for, like the four star ones that are really good, but like the actual like destruction light cones right now are really in a weird spot just like the erudition light cones prior to like the new ones that got released the only good one that was great on everyone was um the general's light cone and okay so it was nuts yeah i, that, I understand what like you're the, saying there's not yeah. enough light cones right is it my getting that's what that i mean right? yeah there's not enough okay. variety for it to be like i can use this light cone for every character Right. Okay, I kind so of disagree with that point currently based upon the new light cones that have just been out. Mm -hmm. um, so like the, the new Pentagon light cones kind of fix that issue. So that was a problem and I don't mm -hmm. find it a, a, a problem any longer. Yeah, so what light cone would you say that a person should summon for now that would fix the, uh, d the amount of light cones that people need to have? So let's just say you're playing a destruction team. What, ca what light cone should a person summon for? So I, I can think, honestly just summon for what you want is what I always say. For, for uh, my I'm opinion, not, I right. feel like light and cones. Like, just, sorry, that's how I am. And sorry, yeah, okay. uh, Black Swan's light cone. Okay, I you feel like, look at Black Swan's light cone. <laughs> I, I, like, I actually have that. That's the only light cone I have. I and I just, free to play players just, should just, just not be pulling for light cones for supports. I feel like exactly. pulling support light cones yeah. is a waste, but pulling for uh, a light cone for your main damage dealer for one for both of your teams is yes. really, really, really fucking good. Because yes. if, if I have to say play. like one one thing here, it would be the light cones that have like defense shred, defense reduction. Like that's just such a powerful mechanic that like Jing Liu comes to mind. Like if you have Jing Liu's light cone, then you could theoretically run Quantum Jing Liu if you run with like Pela and Silver Wolf. And it's like, if you have certain light cones, it just opens up like power scaling that that character pretty much would never have if you didn't pull it. Specifically, I feel like defense shred, defense reduction is just huge if it's on a light cone. I am paying attention. Yeah, no, I agree. Right, but I mean, is that on a light cone though? For a five star light cone? Yeah. Isn't that on Which Romeo's? Uh, Jing Liu's Jing Liu's like Jing Liu's like too. Oh, yeah, the so, only okay, light so cones I've ever pulled were, are, So you're uh, saying that Jingliu's light cone, Acheron's light cone, and then I, I bought 
the Bronya's light cone from the shop with my shards that I got from being free boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's different. Mm-hmm. This is so good. It's so fucking good. Mm-hmm. I think stats okay. light cones can be used on a lot of people too. I think if you get Topaz mm-hmm. as a light cone, you can use that on a lot of hunt characters because it has so much crit value. I, I think True. the only like my chat brought up like hunt, Topaz light cone. That one was specifically was probably mm-hmm. one of the best light cones in the game. Yeah, because I agree. it enables blade, a lot of other damage. Too. So like okay, one. so blade light cone? Why? Because it's the I think it's the only destruction one that gives crit value, right? Uh, I don't and think it's no. like a lot maybe. of crit value. Okay. Uh, may, maybe uh, maybe Jingle's right? Isn't it Jingle's? I, I will be real, like, damage. Seca, I, I think that your point is majorly right. Like, I, I think you, it's it's very hard to argue blanket rules for, like, anything. Like, if you were to say never pull for light cones, I think that's very hard to argue because there's always going to be outliers. And we can probably sit here and explain every outlier, but I do think it's good advice generally. But uh, I, I do think there are some light cones, and there's always positives because also getting the light cones is easier in this game. And uh, that would also, if you get a character yeah. and you get their light cone, mathematically that will always lead free to play in a better direction because then that's not a 50-50 they have to win and then another 50-50 they have to win because if they want to replace the character, they can just get the character, win the 75, then skip that next character because they don't need it because that character will outperform that other character at easier without a proper light cone, and then they can go to the next one that Giga Power creeps and stuff. I mean, mathematically, it just makes sense. I mean, for, for free to play, no matter what, you do have to like pick and choose. There, there for is sure. always mm-hmm. going to be like choices yeah. you have to make. You can't just get everything you want. Um, mm-hmm. But I think a lot of times, like damage dealers, mm-hmm. light cones tend to be more specific to them, and it's nice to enable them if you want to use them for a long time. Okay, so if you have Jing Lu plus her light cone right now, do you find that she is on the same level as an Akron without her light cone? I have both of them with their light cone, so it's insane. So I can't, I can't talk. Yeah, me too. I can't <laughs> comment I on this news, one. So. Okay, yeah. so if you, okay, Akron with her light cone then for you, Techie, what do you think is better? Uh, now, once again, uh, I'm going to keep it okay. a buck. Uh, I think I should have just used good night, sleep well on Akron, to be yeah. completely fair. I don't yeah. think her light cone is that good. I feel like it was completely okay. overhyped. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I do I think Jing, I think Jing Liu keeps up with uh, Akron without her light cone, 100%. Okay, so you're saying that for your experience of getting the light cone for Akron was a mistake? Oh, I'm not saying it was a mistake. I own everything that I do. But I'm saying I could have just used good night's sleep well, but now that I haven't, I can use my good night's sleep well on my Kafka, which is what I'm doing now. <gasps> yeah, that's what I'm doing. The queen? Yeah. Using I, li- I like yeah. Can I yeah, ask? I like the like, Nylon. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, Seca. I was just going to ask what light cone you pulled for that you regret. The black swan light cone, actually. Surprisingly. Oh, the big, the, oh, that one's, that's nice artwork, though. Yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I okay, pull it just oh, for yeah. that. Good stuff. So, so cool for like, for the artwork, sure. I can, I, I, I can understand anybody <laughs> pulling it for, okay, so this is where, uh, this is where I'll concede this point. I believe if you like a character, summon for their light cone so that you can play them for longer. I agree with that point. Absolutely. Right? Okay? Mm-hmm. Because you want to play that favorite character that you have for a very long time. Right? Mm-hmm. I, I disagree that the amount of time that you get from that light cone will be very large. I believe it will be much shorter than you realize. And how much, that how part much, will- How long do you think it'll last you? Because I'll be real. Okay. Like, I think your oh, point that's, is that's correct actually for Zila. Like Zila is so fucking yeah. trash. Yeah. Um, I, I actually think, was playing her yesterday, but she's, she's I, not that bad actually. So, but, yeah. uh, well, okay. Well, I, we can get into that later. <laughs> e6 is terrible. E6 e- uh, e- is terrible. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Zila, she just does not keep up with Acheron at all. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's not trash. Target, she's though. just not Acheron. Well, but yes, but EO. Yeah. Shut up, bro. By the way, EO, you were supposed to be in this episode, you dumbass. Why weren't you here? You were literally in the call, man. <laughs> Why have you been in chat typing the whole time? You were supposed to be here. Also, Box, you tracking? You've been muted for 40 minutes, right? This man's summoning right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, look, because I can't talk about meta. I'm fucking stupid as shit. So I'm just talking to my own chat right now. So, yeah. Wait, you literally just sitting here at the club, just fucking. Yeah, but yeah, this yeah, is. Dude, like, yeah, dude, meta, dude, I, don't right? the, I don't know what any of this means. I just like using my blade and my, and my bailu, and that's it, bro. Like, I don't know anything about this, like, fancy light cone talk, man. Yeah, no, I get oh, that okay. shit. But, yeah, uh, it's too Yeah, hard. no, I mean, I, like, I totally agree. <laughs> I think, I think for prior characters, like, if you pulled for, like, a, a Zila light cone, if you're MTash and you pulled E2 Zila and a light cone, good God, you probably want to kill right now. Right, but, uh, so that's the point, right? Yeah, 100%. So, I, I think there's, a, there's a lot of nuance to this topic. It's very hard to, to fucking yeah. really just fucking nail it down. There, there are definitely right, better so, light cones to pull for, like, for sure. So, mm. my point is, like, 
Um, you, I, I can't really nail down a date because like you, you can only look at the analytics for the, how powerful characters are getting over time. But when it comes to like older characters that are in the game, we can already see some characters kind of falling off. For the first character that I was looking at like a few days ago was Blade. And Blade is still very strong, but and I played Blade with his Lycone, played with Brave Sparkle, Blade Bronia, and all that stuff. But he doesn't have the same level of impact as the newer characters with he's their so Lycone. Cool, but but he is cool. Yeah. He's so, dude, really I want cool. him. So, I'm good. gonna pull him on the rerun. He's so funny. Blade's yeah. my older. favorite Husbando. Right. Dude, his oh, voice but, lines are insane. You guys wanna know a fun fact? You know the Blade uh, voice actor, the English guy, whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he does the same voice acting as Quaxley in Pokemon. <laughs> Does the same for, is that like a, um, a duck? Is it, yeah, it's the duck. <laughs> Blade does Quaxley t- <laughs> What oh, the God. fuck? <laughs> you look it up. It's, uh, what is it? Da- da- I believe you because I don't feel like you're that insane to just make that up. <laughs> I Quaxley. learned that from my friend. This, his range is crazy. Many talents. It is nuts. Yeah. yeah. Quaxley and Blade. What, I wasn't there somebody else that he was recently in? Like Lenny. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like Lene and Blade being the same person is nuts, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Regardless, this was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Everybody, I appreciate y'all being here. If you ever want to come on a future mm-hmm. episode, just hit me up. Uh, I made a Discord for all you guys to go chill and talk. If you ever want to do more uh, collaboration or just chill off stream, you're more than welcome to join that. I linked it in the chat up here. But uh, yeah, you guys were awesome. This was a very fun episode. We had max capacity, and it still flowed <laughs> very well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, Thank you for mm-hmm. taking time out of your busy day to chill here with me, and I appreciate you guys. So, uh, Chad, Thank say you. bye to all these guests. Boys, bye. it's been fun. And I'll see y'all, see next y'all later. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for having me. Have a Goodbye. good one. That was a treat. That was good. That was good. Yeah, what y'all think? Is that good? Let me uh, tell them. Appreciate y'all. Join the Discord. Okay, guys, I'm gay. <laughs>